Oh, what is good, everybody? How's everybody doing? I got some people to thank. Naroon, bro, get to fucking see you, man. How's it going? You fucking oh, thanks for the subscription, man. That, that really means a lot, brother. I really appreciate that. You're actually uh, fun fact. You're the first person to ever subscribe to me. So, fucking like, thanks so much, dude. That really warms my cold, cold heart. I appreciate that, brother. Um, shucks, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Aw, oh, I deserve it. Pfft, you're full of shit, but thanks, man. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try a new death run. I don't know if this is gonna be a speed run, but it's not. Nah, it's not gonna be a speed run because I suck, but uh, a new death run. Let's, 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 let's go for it. Let's see if I can do this. I don't know. I've never, I've never succeeded with a no death run before on a stream, but I've done it once not streaming, but you guys have no proof of that, so. What, what's this? Is this seven filter one or two? This is seven filter one, my brother. Commander William, how you doing, man? Um, yeah, this is seven filter one. I've just been practicing this one a few times because I really just want to shake off all this rust dude <laughs> i haven't i don't know this is my third time playing this game in in like eight months so let's go for it let's just do it when does the operation begin our intelligence within the fbi was not clear but rumors men oh dude the falling off ledges in the blackout tunnel that's some bullshit dude I, I hear that that's not even that's not even a joke no you ain't kidding all right that, I'm not even, <laughs> if shit like that happens, I'm not even going to count it, to be honest. I don't really want to count that shit. Because <laughs> that's, that could happen to anybody at any time. And, I mean, this game's a PS1 game, so it's super unforgiving in the controls and all that. So, F that ship, you know what I mean? If shit happens, shit happens. But I'm going to try not, to, this is a, a no-death run attempt is what it is, a no-death run attempt. Now, if I die, like, legitimately, like, you know, I fucked up in a firefight or some shit, then that's on me. But other than that, I'm going to try to do as best I can no death run. The a bitch. And I'm going to try to be as quick as I can. But yeah, you're right about the tunnel blackout thing. Fuck that mission. <laughs> Um, and trying to do it quick with that, with that strat in the beginning where you just kind of like avoid all the girders and just go straight from the top to the ground without dying pretty much in one fell swoop. Yeah, that's tricky. So got a lot of shit to avoid, like fire and falling and death and everything. So yeah, good luck with that. But, uh, my problem is going to be catacombs. I always seem to die on the catacombs, man. <laughs> that seems to be the bane of my existence. Um, this guy was a bitch last time. Let's see if he can not be a bitch this time. There we go. You weren't a bitch this time. Had a boy. I've taken out Kravich and destroyed the comm equipment, but I don't see their uplink dish. I'll trace it. I really want to get good at seven filter two as well. Like better than I am, I mean. Oh my Jesus. Gabe's breaking the glass by running. Yeah, pretty much. He's just, uh, he's that badass, you know? It's Gabe Logan, man. Gabe, this must be where the Shut up, bitch. Right. Only speak when spoken to. You bypassed oh, the subway shit. security. The ramp in the first terminal should be clear now. I don't like you. I don't like your voice. You're not Leon. Love how much chat. <laughs> Does it really? Chat auto censors Fagin's name? <laughs> That's so cool. I didn't know that. That's super cool. <laughs> oh, man. Good old political correctness. What would we do without you? You beautiful, beautiful creation. 
Wow. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, Jesus. So hopefully I don't get screwed over by a grenade buddy like I did that one time. The one where everybody in the Discord... Hey, by the way, anybody in chat who uh, loves this game, there's a guy in the chat, his name's Naroon. He's got a siphon filter Discord. Set. Naroon, if you want to put CBC the link up so people can join that, so we can uh, get more people involved in the community if you want. That'd be sick. Um, join the Discord and have some fun and hang out. Because he's he set this up for everybody and he's really awesome for doing it. We needed it. Uh, what do I need here? I need to not die. Why does it only give you 10 ammo? That's some silly shit. Um, what was I gonna say now? I was gonna say some other shit. I don't remember what it was though. Oh. I've located Romer. He's on. Right. Elite pilot, how you doing, my brother? Good to see you. WTF what? What's up? I missed something funny. I don't like missing funny shit. What did I miss? Is it because I'm doing this game again? <laughs> they got bad aim in this mission. Just wait, dude. <laughs> as soon as mission four comes and we enter the Washington Park, you will not be saying that much longer. <laughs> Wow, he didn't throw a grenade at me? That's so sick. I'm happy about that. I'm setting a beacon. Wait. Alright, one mission done. No deaths. We're good. Let's try not to die to fire on this one. That'd be sick. But I'm gonna do some stupid shit that'll probably give me way less health than I should have. Gabe, are you there? <laughs> I'm here. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that, man. That's crazy. It censors fagging. What the WTF? Oh, shit. Oh, okay, that didn't count. Nobody count that. That didn't count. I was trying to do some fucked up shit. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, okay. First try of mission two. Let's go. Boy, it sure is good to finally be in mission two, I tell you. Wow, what a great mission. Oh, shit. That was horrible. Whatever. His flak jacket, like, in a couple of missions, I think. <laughs> Damn it. I'm so upset. <laughs> no, I'm not upset. I'm fine. That's fine. That death didn't count. I mean, that I didn't die. Fuck that. Who, who died? Not me, that's for sure. Ah, oh, come on now. Get up there, bitch! Isn't he climbing? Come on, Gabe. Seven Builder 1, I tell you. Oh, okay. There we go. This mission seems to not want to ever be speed ran. Pretty much what it is. Hey, <sighs> big sigh. This game fucking hates me. Hurry up, bitch. I got no health. Cover me. Cover yourself, girl. Gabe, you were supposed to provide oh, cover the what? You only need to kill one guy, though. Dude, I, I want to be quick here. This is silly shit. Alright, that didn't count either. Because that wasn't a death, technically. And the other one was just me goofing off. So, still... Still in the running for no deaths during this run. God damn it, this bullshit.
Come on now. Oh Jesus! Almost fell off there. All right. Mission two, first try. Good checkpoint. That was solid. I got there really fast. I was uh, couldn't have done it better myself. I should make up my mind. Either I'm doing a speed run or I'm doing a no death run. But you'd think if you're doing a speed run, you wouldn't want to die during a speed run either, right? Like, so this should count as. Oh, Jesus. Alright, come on now, girl. Please work for me. There you go. <sighs> Man. Yeah, this game is tr just. Unforgiving doesn't even cut it, man. <laughs> this is insane. This is... I'd say it's the hardest in the fran... Well, is it the hardest in the franchise? I don't know. Is it? Is on their way in. I, I can't. I can't tell you if it is or not. There's a good chance it might be the hardest in the franchise. Cover me. Oh, I didn't get the gas mains. Shit. That's right. Okay, I only need to kill the guy... That spawns over here. Right over here. This guy is the only guy you need to kill. That's right, I forgot about that. Not the guys over here. This area is the bad area. And what I should have done is actually get the gas mains first. And then blew up the thing with the C4. I found the gas main. I'm shutting it down. But, uh, you know, whatever. I've only been playing this game 20 years. You know, I, I'm still a scrub. So... <clears throat> Oh shit! Oh, I was reading the chat. That doesn't count either. Top three hardest would have be would have to be some other one two omega strain. Yep, a hundred percent agree. Oh shit! What is this crap? Uh, oh, I need to do the gas me again. Lovely. So this whole mission doesn't count towards this no death run, by the way. Um, I would say the hardest, uh, you know what, all in all, I'd say the hardest is probably the Omega Strain. Um, and then this one, and then Seven Pillar 2. That's probably the, the, the ranking I'd put them. What's up with the chat? Hold on a second. Gotta fix that. There we go. Make that bigger so everybody can read what the hell that says. That's better. Daz Assassin, how you doing, brother? I watched a couple of Seven Brother One speed runs on YouTube, and some of the people would only die, kill themselves, but only for checkpoints. Mess up enemy patterns. Yeah, exactly. There's actually a trick with, uh, um, what's it called? Base, uh, Rummer's Base, so Mission 8, where you have to, um, with uh, Gabrek, Vladislav Gabrek, you basically go in to the area where the uh, fuel tank is, right by where he spawns. And as soon as you plant the C4 on his fuel tank, you have to restart the checkpoint. So, you just plant the C4, restart checkpoint, and then he, he spawns in a different area once you come back in. It's a, it's really weird, but that's a that's a speed run tactic. That's like old school. We're going back like fucking 2005 that shit was discovered. Or at least that's the first time I saw it on message boards or anything. Certain levels that get on my nerves too much. Yeah, E poor lock. Omega strain. <laughs> I get it. It's not everybody's favorite. I get it. It's a tough game. Come on, Mara, don't be a bitch. Oh, she's a bitch. Thanks for being a bitch, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, This is a shame. Kill myself on purpose here because I wanted to restart it. Okay, let's. <coughs> me. Oh, she's not even over here. Damn, she moves quick. There we go. Too 
So because if you don't do it, that whole stealth segment takes forever. Oh yeah, God, I hear that, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I, thanks, man. Yeah, Dad's assassin, I appreciate that. I don't know. I, I, I've thought about doing speed run for years. I just never really. I don't know. I've busted my ass learning like Hitman speed runs, but this shit is honestly Seven Fielder is way harder than Hitman. <laughs> I might piss off a lot of Hitman fans by saying that, but it's just a fact, man. Play both franchises as long as I've been playing both of them, and then fight me on it. I've been playing both franchises for 20 years plus, and I can tell you straight up, Seven Builder is way harder. CBDC has the signal. They're on this their shit's way. crazy. Anybody who can speedrun any Seven Builder game, you got my. I take my hat off to you. I don't wear a hat, but I take my hat off to you, but my head would get cold. But I'll salute you instead. Anybody who gets that, you're the tits. <laughs> All clear, Gabe. Yeah, this is a good this is a good mission, I agree. Good call, good call. Good taste in missions, bro. The fog adds something kinda cool to it too. I kinda dig that. I better get a flak jacket, otherwise I might uh, this no death run might be nullified because I have yet to die, so. Jesus, that guy was worrying me. This mission could be such malarkey sometimes, I tell you. Yeah, the 45 is good shit, man. I wish they brought that back for more games. Besides the first three. Like, I don't even know what, this, uh, what the Omega Strain equivalent of this gun would be. CBDC has the signal. They're on their way. Stand by. This bomb sucks because you actually have to stand and defend it pretty much the whole entire time. My Dark Mirror walkthroughs? Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, damn, that was forever ago. <laughs> I haven't played. I haven't even played Dark Mirror since that uh, since that walkthrough. So I probably suck ass at that game now too. But um, I was bitching about Dark Mirror last night in the chat. Actually, I like that game, but I think it might actually be my second least favorite in the franchise. Now that people got me to think about it, somebody kept asking me what my favorite, uh, uh, what order I put the games in yesterday, like top to bottom or bottom to top or whatever. And Dark Mirror ended up being like right after Seven Builder 3 for dog shit. I love that game though, I do. I think I don't think it's a bad game. The ragdolls are sick, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Ragdoll physics always have my heart. But um The only bad game in the series, like objectively speaking, like from a design standpoint and a story standpoint and just a demographic of people hating it is Seven Builder 3, whereas Dark Mirror is just personal choice, like that's just, that's just me talking shit as a, about the game is all it is. It's a good game, it's just not my favorite. CBDC has the signal, they're on their way, stand At the on. time it was a good, uh, oh you haven't played Dark Mirror in a long time either? Yeah, because it's just not en engaging enough, it's a great game, but I mean, compare it to Seven Builder 2, man. That game is fucking brilliant. That's a game I want to get up in the morning and make make myself a coffee and a, and a nice sandwich or some shit. What the fuck is going on? Jesus. That doesn't count either because it was, wasn't a death. Uh, you know, make myself a coffee, make a sandwich, all that good shit, and then uh, go play some Seven Builder 2. I never feel that way about Dark Mirror. Never. That's probably why you haven't played it in a while. Because you probably feel the same. Oh, you just literally pulled an Omega Strain right there, Bo. <laughs> when spawns just, like, appear out of thin air. That's an Omega Strain thing. I thought it was exclusive to the Omega Strain. I guess not. 
I'm indifferent for sevenfold to three. It's really hit or miss. Because I do like some of the back. Yeah. I get it. I mean, of the three classics, I understand. Um, I will honestly will take any argument about any of the games in the franchise, especially the three classics, like the, the original trilogy. People defend Sevenfold to three. I get it. The only thing I will argue to the death, like literally to the death, is people who hate on the Omega Strain. I will argue the tits out of you, bro. If you say the Omega Strain's trash, I will. I'll beat the shit out of you. I will. <laughs> I won't beat the shit out of you, but like my, my words, verbally, you will take a licking. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I will get arrested in, on an assault charge if you talk shit about the Omega Strain, man. That's, that's my girl you talking shit about, girl. Uh, it's only allowed them to release it on PS2. I agree. It's the first game released by Sony Ben Studios instead of uh, Eidetic. So... They should have released it on PS2. But we, uh, we didn't get that. That's okay. That would have been so sick to have 7 over 3 on PS2. Would have been so sick. The bummer they didn't do that, honestly. It's, it's a damn shame. I didn't even get night vision rifle. That's also a damn shame. I need that. Actually, piss off. I don't need to worry about you. You ain't got shit. I need this, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's this part. Okay. No worries. matter William okay <laughs> sorry bro I'm not trying to like scare the tits out of you but honestly that game is great and people need to realize that shit and stop criticizing it just because they can't beat it some of the best games in the world are games that are just so fucking hard they make you want to pull your hair out like, look at Tekken I don't know if you guys are fighting game fans but Next to Seven Builder, well, probably even over Seven Builder, Tekken's been the longest-running game franchise that I've actually been in into, and uh, I've competed in tournaments and all that shit. And uh, that's probably my favorite game franchise of all time is Tekken, and that is arguably the hardest game you'll ever play in your life. Um, I don't honestly, I've never played a harder game than Tekken. It's crazy hard to learn everything about that that franchise. It's 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 insane what that franchise expects of you. But it's so rewarding to play such a hard game. So more people need to look at it like that, I think. One Marco still be a bitch. Where are you? Marcos must have been ghost check. Tekken two the most? Oh man, you're missing out. It was in its infancy back then. Yeah, Tekken's skill ceiling is ridiculous. Like those Koreans and now those Pakistani guys. Holy Christ, those guys are talented, man. That's insane what those guys can do. I'm at the entrance. I've won some local tournaments, but those guys make me look like a little bitch, dude. Those guys are crazy good. Uh, even if you master your main, you still need to learn a billion matchups. Ex exactly, that's the thing, the matchup knowledge, man. And when you got 50 other characters to compete against, you gotta learn, which all have 100 plus moves, you gotta learn 100 plus moves times 50 characters. Tonker, dude. Oh, okay, let me learn the properties of 5,000 friggin' moves and know exactly how to deal with them every single time in every single fight. Good fucking luck. Especially if your opponent is really good, too. Like, that's a bloody nightmare. Suck it, bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you should be dead. Come on now. You can't win what? You should be dead. There we go. Gabe, 
Yeah. I, He's finished, Leon. Exactly. I was blown away by the Middle East, too, man. <laughs> Imagine how long they've been just chilling back and just being like, ah, these Koreans are, they're trash. We could beat the shit out of them. Like, since fucking 20 years just hanging out, ah, it's fine. We'll just, we'll, we'll kick their ass one day. No big deal. And then We've analyzed randomly you just show up. Now. Everybody's like, oh, Nee is the shit. He's the best fucking Tekken player ever. And these Cur these Check. Pakistan guys come and kick the shit out of knee. <laughs> it's like, damn, <laughs> it's uh, unexpected. Crazy shit. Pakistan is destroying everybody. It's crazy. Um, right now, what is it? Um, what's his name? Um, oh, damn it! The best player in the world. Arslan Ash, he's the best player in the world. He's so friggin' good right now. Oh, of course I died. I'm talking too much. Yeah, 007 gave Logan. I like the tux. That's the only thing I like about these missions is the tux. Fuck these missions, though. These are trash. Absolute trash. I didn't even really like the 7 Builder 2 Expo Center one. It's These are bad missions. Interesting design, but poor execution overall. Oh, I missed. Lovely. Right on. Perfect. Back to this shit. Yeah, restart mission. Fine. Eport log. You've only played Tekken 1 to 4. Didn't really like 3 that much. 1, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of either. 2 and 4 are the best. Yeah, 2 and 4 are really good. We've um, you should try out men. Tekken 7, it man. It is the greatest game out right now. Right. It is so good. And I'm not just talking Tekken games, I'm talking games overall. Tekken 7 is the best game on the market right now. Until they make a new siphon filter, Tekken 7 will be the best game on the market. It's a fact. That's not what I said, it's not my opinion. It's a fact. <laughs> oh, what the f You sure I'll beat the expo marker? Yeah. <laughs> it's not looking like it, dude. I'm playing trash right now. Okay, give me two seconds not to talk, because I need to focus like a little bitch on this mission. Okay, here we go. I got this, I got this. Why is this so hard all the time? This is so dumb. It should not be that hard. That's crazy. Alright, let's go through this thing. Why does that fail? He's not supposed to fail that. This is some bullshit. This is bullshit. That's the trick. You're supposed to go through those two stone things and Fagin's supposed to be... His line of sight's supposed to be blocked. That's the trick. What the hell are you doing? Game. Come on now. I could totally do things the slow way, but that's totally, that's not fun at all. That's terrible. <sighs> that was my bad. I, I fucked that up. I'll, I'll own that one because I killed the guy in the back first, which is not legal. This game Check. throws you in jail for doing that. So you got to kill the guy in the front first because the back guy is slower than the front, the front guy. He doesn't, he's not quite, um, Motor skills aren't quite up to snuff like the front guys is. That's why the front guys walking and the back guys just standing looking around. Oh, it's a cool museum. Oh fuck! Why is this? Why is this happening? Oh, you played all the Tekkens but DR and Seven, dude. Play Seven, bro. You're missing out. Seven is so good. It is the best Tekken in the history of ever. It is so good. And this is coming from a guy that was playing Tekken 1 in the arcades in 1994. Thank you. See, look at the guy in the back. He's a little slow little bitch. Hey, why is there blood? Why is there my blood? Why am I dead? There we go. That's how it works. See, that's how... I don't know what I did differently there, but, you know, I'll take it. Fuck it.
Easy peasy, squeezy lemons. Fuck yeah. What are you doing here? You. <sighs> okay. Gabe, big is run for Hell is over. Oops. The Benton's still in there with you. Watch out. Oh Christ! Ah, that's not what I wanted. The damn aiming in this game, I tell you. The darn aiming, I tell you. What? He's right. Well, we're doing okay now. Off to a rocky start. But technically the no death run is still on because I haven't actually, actually died yet. Like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, legitimately died. I have not died yet. I failed a bunch. But failing and no deaths are two different things. So. And technically I haven't even failed really either because... This is seven filter one, and this game is, is is fucking buggy as hell, and doesn't like anybody. Reminds you of the stealth missions Return of Castle Wolfstein. Oh yeah, as soon as you get spotted, you fail the mission. That's classic seven filter, or at least the objective. Um. Like, in the Omega Strain, you fail the objective, which then technically means you did fail the mission on top of that, because if you fail the objective, you can't get par, and then you might as well restart. So, um, it's kind of like that for all the Seven Builder games. Dark Mirror and Logan's Shadow bring the failing the mission thing back. Um... And, uh, yeah, the first three games. Although in Seven Builder 3, there's hardly any freaking stealth at all, so you can't really fail that. Any of those missions by getting spotted. I guess besides, um, St. George, Australia, the second Australian mission with the slaves where Leon's got to free the ab aboriginals. Fuck that mission. That's so stupid. You can get spotted by Commander Silvers and ruin the mission. Or fail the mission, sorry. Like the only stealth in the whole game. <laughs> Pretty bad. Siphon Filter, one of the big four stealth action shooters. Siphon Filter 3, one stealth mission. How many missions are there? 19. That's that's, uh, that's good, uh, good average. Solid average. Sick. <sighs> Get me out of these missions. With the most stealth, uh, Seven Builder 2. Yeah, of the original trilogy, yeah, Seven Builder 2 definitely had the most stealth. And then 1 and then 3. Um, but, uh, uh, in S Hitman Tucson Assassin, well, there's 20 missions in that game. If you don't count the first, like, it Italy Gontrano mission where you basically don't do anything but talk to the priest. Oh, your internet took a dump for a while. Oh, shit, dude. I feel your pain, man. Mine was giving me shit last night. Um, I think the most... The, the seven filter with the most stealth overall, though, is probably the Omega Strain. But I think there's, what, eight or nine missions dedicated specifically to stealth? Let's count them off real quick. That's actually interesting to do. So the first stealth mission in the Omega Strain is what? Uh, St. Chateau Square, where you play as Gary Stoneman. That's one. Two is Leon's mission, Sidemont Village. Three is Arms Bazaar. Four is 
I guess you could count Tahir Palace being like the beginning of that mission being stealth. That's I guess that's four. Five would be Minsk International University. Six is Ivankov's home. Seven is Lorelei Salvage Rig. Eight, there's that part in Tokyo where you have to um, uh, unlock the elevators, which is a stealth section, so there's eight. Nine is Zurich, and ten is Gabe's mission. So you have eight missions dedicated specifically to stealth, and then you have two missions that are basically just action missions with a bit of stealth in them. So that's a lot of stealth missions, considering there's only 18 missions in the game. It's pretty good. And you're biatch. Oh, I skipped the K3G4. Nice, nice. Beautiful. <sighs> One thing I'm glad they removed is that frickin'... You gotta go in my pocket and dig out a big-ass rifle. Fuck. I'm so glad they didn't bring that back. Not the palace, but the one before that. Yeah, Arms Bazaar, yeah. That's mission eight. Um, and that's, uh, what is that, the third or fourth stealth mission? Leon, I've jacked in. So, you know, there, there, there are, there's a lot of missions in stealth for Seven Field of the Omega Strands, for sure. Yeah, the animation gets you killed all the time. Dude, <laughs> that's why they must have taken it out, because that... It hasn't been back since. Thank fuck for that. But I missed a couple of things people are saying here. I don't want to leave anybody out. What are people saying? Um, guy who's in Metal Gear Solid, been 10 other games and movies and TV shows. Oh, you mean David Hayter? Yeah, he's a fucking legend. <clears throat> I love David Hayter. I want them to... I want to do like a... Maybe not even them, just some person on YouTube that's got some good like animation skills I mean death battle kind of did it with uh, Sam Fisher and solid snake where they put up Sam Fisher versus solid snake and solid snake fucking ate Sam Fisher which that's pretty accurate that would definitely happen uh, but I want to see one of like Gabe versus Sam and that'd be way more evenly matched that'd be so sick oh you don't like arms bizarre from the Omega Strain. A lot of people seem to hate that mission. Keeper Sutherland? Yeah, he's cool too. I love him in 24. I don't know if I love him so much as Venom Snake, but... I mean, he did good as Venom Snake. Um, I think he's a better Venom Snake than a big boss. That's for damn sure. I just pretend that he's only Venom Snake. I don't like to think of him as big boss. David Hayter's big boss. Um, yeah, it's, uh, David Hayter is Snake, Michael Ironside is Sam Fisher, and David Bateson is Agent 47. And it's really up to the community what they like better between John Shake and, and uh, James A. Taylor as Gabe Logan, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I think James A. Taylor is a better Gabe Logan. He's more convincing of the role. I'm not going to let nostalgia get in the way of the fact that he was just a more convincing actor all around. He made me, he drew me into the games better, and they weren't even as good of games. Well, I guess the Omega Strain is epic as hell, but for the most part, the original trilogy is better than the second trilogy. Those guys always get me caught, so I have to kill them. Tell me where the virus labs are. Uh, there goes Fagan. Is Mara still alive? All right, let's hope yes. these guys don't kill me. Now to get some answers. Hurry, more security is on its way. Come on now. Gotta hurry the fudge up over here. Shotguns? No, no shotguns. Please don't. No. Oh my God. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, Chicken's voice is iconic. Again, I agree, but it's just not. Um, 
it's only iconic because he was Gabe Logan. James A. Taylor is iconic for many different things. Can I name other stuff he's in? Fuck no, I can't. But I know that he's an actual, like, talented voice actor who's done a lot of work. Jesus. That was stressful. Leon, this ain't a no death run anymore. I gave up on that. Get information out of her. A copy on their way. Oh, blacklist? Oh my god, dude. Fuck. That is such a great game, and it was ruined by having no Michael Ironside, but he was sick with cancer at the time, so nobody can complain. That's the thing, man. It's it's. I've discovered why every mission. The damn shame that things like that can ruin such a great game. You know, such a amazing. It easily could be up there with you know Double Agent on PS2 and uh, Chaos Theory, but instead it's it's below both of them. The damn shame. Damn it. I found a fuel tank. I planted the first explosive. MGS VR? No, I've never tried it. Um, was never really interested in that. I, I kind of just stuck to the canon games of the franchise and, and haven't really touched any of the, of the other ones. I own all the Canon ones, uh, actually, uh, on hard copy discs and everything. I still have my original PS1 copy of, the, of MGS1 from 98. Gabe, check your fire. If that fuel tank goes, the whole place will go up. And I have my PS2 copy of uh, Sons of Liberty that I bought on release when it first came out. And I remember how incredibly disappointed I was because... Raiden, or Raiden, whatever the fuck his name is. The guy from Mortal Kombat. So this is the trick that you wanna... Okay. Sons of bitches, yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Instead of Sons of Liberty. So this is Gobrek over here. Maybe we probably shouldn't have a shotgun for this. That's okay. Oh shit. Oh no. I'm in trouble now. With no flak jacket, I am definitely screwed. Come on. Ah. Which MGS is the hardest? Oh fuck. Um, for me, I remember having a really difficult time with uh, um. Fuck, that's a good question. They're all pretty linear. They're not really that hard. None of them are hard, really. <laughs> They're just kind of. Eh. I'd say probably. I mean, portable portable ops is tr is tricky, but I don't know. Maybe the power the maybe Peace Walker. I remember the dying now. the most on Peace Walker and not knowing what the fuck to do with a lot of the enemies. That's the last explosive. I'll trigger the timer once I'm on the roof and I'll save the radar. I'm gonna die again. Nice. Portal Ops is tricky, I agree. Um, I think Peace Walker has it beat a little bit. Yeah, same here. Boss fights in Peace Walker were just not interesting. 
Yeah. Optimized for four players, and they were all robots. Like, it's fine to have a couple of robots as boss fights. That's, that adds some flavor, but give us some freaking humans that we can actually, like, have some kind of a relationship with in the game, you know? It was not a good idea to just have them all be robots. Ah, Christ. Jesus. I'm dead. Oh, I survived! Holy Christ! I guess it depends if you're going for a big boss run, which is a nightmare for MGS2. Oh, dude, I never even tried that. That's... I don't play enough Metal Gear to be good at them. <laughs> I've never been good at Metal Gear. That is not... That is a franchise I will never even dream of trying to do... Leon. I'm in the uh, check. big boss mode, let alone speed runs or any of that crazy shit that I try with other franchises. I'm just not as invested in Metal Gear either. Like I, I love Metal Gear, but for me, it's all about Hitman. It's all about Seven Filter. Those games are the shit, and Tekken when I want to actually play something hard. <laughs> I had a huge debate on on the uh, Hitman boards one time with some fanboys that were just going off about how hard Hitman is because you have to think about what you're doing at every step of the way and fuck that dude ain't got nothing on Tekken and people ate me alive I got eaten by like 50 people at once all just having at her firing code. the feeding frenzy everybody's eating the buff guy gross I was kind of trolling though, in, in, in their defense, I was totally being a little bitch. <laughs> the, the requirements for MGS2 were tedious. I never even tried that. I don't even know what the requirements are, honestly. I have no idea. I never really wanted to learn how to, how to um, run that game. For big rock, big boss run. MGS2 is probably my least favorite of the main five titles. Not probably, it was by far my least favorite. I just remember how disappointed I was the first moment I popped in the disc in the PS2, played as Solid Snake, thought how awesome this game was, and then the tanker sinks, and then Raiden, and then fucking 61. You know. I need scissors 61. I was out. Nope. Can't do it. This sucks. Fucking <laughs> So stupid, man. And and Rose. Jack, do you remember what day it is? It's Thursday. Yeah, but what does Thursday mean to you? Uh it's the day before Friday, so it's almost the weekend. But what does the weekend mean to you? Oh. Shut up, bitch. I'm on a mission. Okay. I'll just call back later. Oh. You go and get a backhand later, girl. Jesus. Where am I going again? This way, right? Oh, shit. Oh shit. Check it. The one time something mundane and uninteresting happened in our past. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh hell yeah, I got jail baited for a freaking silver haired little bitch. Who didn't, man? <laughs> You must have played it back then, 2001. Nobody knew anything. No one knew fucking anything. Like, we were all convinced that this is the new chapter of Solid Snake's next story and what's going to happen with him and his crazy badass ass. And then, Raiden. Nobody knew anything because the internet was barely a thing back then. So we were all just like, ah, this is going to be great. Can't wait. 
This, and then we played the tanker. Holy shit, this is awesome. Metal Gear Solid 2 is going to be so sick. Best game ever. Till we get 10% into the freaking game. Holy Christ, man. That was pretty cool, though. I got to give it to Kojima for that, man. Congrats on fooling the entire planet for, like, a good nine or ten months. Fucking congrats. The last code. I'm going to try to find a way up to the radar tower on the roof. Get ready to lift off. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm surprised Colonel Campbell never actually did call Ryden a pussy because everybody was thinking it. <laughs> Ryden. Come in, Ryden. This is Ryden. Yes, Colonel? Quit being such a pussy. Okay, Colonel. <laughs> Fuck. I'm offended that you called me a pussy, Colonel. Is it because of my hair? It's because of my hair. I have no idea where I'm going because I'm talking way too damn much. Alright, one, two, here we go. Not to mention the U.S. president got more than he bargained for. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. That's another part that really was not, I was not happy about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Nah. <laughs> Leon, I found the elevator door. Fuck, bro. <laughs> you reminded me of some dark times, man. Dark, dark times. Back in those days, I was like a preteen or a teenager. I don't remember. 2001, I was a teenager. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Why did he grab that man's crotch? Mom! <laughs> What is this game? Leon, I'm on the roof. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Hey, don't you be making MGS2 sound good now by bringing in a statement from MGS3. That is that is not cool, bro. Not cool. <laughs> All right, we're loaded up. Let's do this. Leon, I've triggered the timer and disabled the radar. I'm ready for pickup. I read you. ETA. Yeah, Colonel Volgan gets a kick out of it by actually banging right. And I don't care who, what anybody says. That dude that he's banging is not... Uh, whatever the fuck his name is. Rykov. Rykov. Yeah. Suck a dick. Suck another dick, I mean. Colonel Rykov. Or Major Rykov. Ugh, he's not even on fire yet? Damn, I'm a, I'm a lousy shot. Where are the dudes at? There they are. How are you not on fire yet? Come on, bro. I needs me some ammos. Super bad, please. Oh crap. Damn, this guy pissed off. Oh, give me this shit. Christ! Oh, stupid animation! I'm dead. I'm dead. Ugh. Jesus. There we go. Man, that took way longer than I wanted it to. Get down an enemy gunship? Oh. I'll get down, all right. I'll get down on his face. <laughs> Elite pilot. <laughs> hey, man, with the rainbow face. <laughs> that is a that's a sick emoji, dude. <laughs> yeah, I thought Leon was dead too. I was kind of like, huh. Well, I mean, she wasn't a good actress, anyways. So fuck it. <laughs> and then she survived, and everybody wasn't shocked. Oh 
man, I want to get through this area so bad, but I can't do it. I'm so trash at it. Let me try this. Okay, I got this. Oh, no! Oh, wow, the fire did not kill me. Interesting. All right, let's try one more time. Shit. All right, the game doesn't want me to do it. Fuck it. Where's, where's Logan's stinger missiles? Um, solid snakes hogging all those bitches. And Gabe don't need no damn stinger missiles. He can do it with his bare hands. He just can't fly, otherwise he would. So he just, he uses bullets instead. I think it's more impressive if you shoot a freaking gunner, gunner ship down, or a gunship down with your, with a regular ass assault rifle over using stinger missiles. Like, what's more badass? I'm gonna take a, an assault rifle. That's just, you know, a regular, regular enemies use this gun. <laughs> and I'm going to shoot down a gunship while it's trying to kill me and throwing other enemies at me. Dude. <laughs> if I ever make a Sam Fisher vs. Gabe Logan video, which I'm really tempted to do, that's one of the feats I'm going to use to boost up Gabe a bit. Because that shit is crazy. Like... That's beyond some Solid Snake shit. And I think, I straight up think Solid Snake would kick Gabe's ass. No no question. But that's that's some crazy shit. Solid Snake had never, never done that shit before. <clears throat> Although he did take down a tank with grenades, I still think taking down a gunship with a friggin' assault rifle is more impressive than that. There's an M79 behind the start point. Yeah, but fuck it. Oh, let's use this. Siphon filter. One more thing. You are right. Oh man, here we go. We're almost there, guys. We're almost at hell. Oh shit. Oh, get out of here. There's a dude here. Okay, so in the next mission, you guys gotta help me out because I, I keep forgetting certain Time scientists. Check. Yeah, this I agree. These two missions are great. However, <laughs> the third stronghold mission can eat all the dicks. Like, save all the dicks for that mission. Don't eat any of the dicks. That mission deserves every dick. But the next mission, for some reason, on my last two playthroughs, I forgot a scientist both times. And I have no idea who the hell I'm forgetting. I swear I'm being vigilant and, you know, trying to find every single dude. But one guy keeps evading me. I don't know what it is. Yeah, if Satan was real, the catacombs would be where he goes to, like, he sends the shitty people in hell. That's that's where, that's the catacombs. It's like, dude, you're, you're trash. You don't belong here. This is hell, dude. You're going to Stronghold Catacombs, man. That's it. You're out. Had enough of your evil shit, dude. You're too evil for this place. That's how Satan actually talks, by the way. Oh, so it's possible for one of the scientists in the next mission to not spawn. Well, that would explain a lot of real, real big headache. Huge pain in the dick. Uh, which guy has the key card? I haven't the slightest idea. This guy. Oh, man. I gotta be honest. I, I've... 
I never really liked these missions. I thought they were cool, but <clears throat> nothing really uh, too crazy about them that I, I really thought was super memorable. And then I did these playthroughs, practice runs and all that shit, and these missions are growing on me, man. I really like these missions now. They're fun. There's a lot to them. And they got where the hell do I go moments. I appreciate that. I like moments like that. Ain't no better feeling than when you are in a where the fuck do I go mission and you find out where the fuck you go. That's some good shit. And why can't Gabe climb? <laughs> Jesus. There we go. Oh, jeez, Louise. Scientist, come here, bro. Uh, just so you guys know, heads up. The catacombs, I may decide to use the infinite ammo glitch. Because I do not want to uh, restart that mission more than once. The taser? Everybody loves the taser. That's like, that's what this game is known for. It, that thing is so iconic that they even put it in Days Gone. I think that's pretty sweet. And it's the exact same taser. It's a freaking air taser that lights people on fire. I mean, that's pretty sick. That, the taser is almost more iconic than the name Siphon Filter. So, you know you did something right when. It's just a shame that that's what this game is mostly known for. Oh, shit. Did I get K3G4? No, I did not. Yeah, it is legendary. That shit's as legendary as it come. Automatic. Give me this bitch. I think if I did like eight or nine more playthroughs, I could probably attempt a speed run. This game's hard though. Jesus. Last test subject. F yeah, bro. This guy's a gun, right? Black jacket here, right? LAX Airport, hardest mission in. Yeah, dude, that mission sucks. That game sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna get so lit up for saying that. Pandora tomorrow. Pandora tomorrow is the Siphon Filter 3 of that franchise. 
Not interesting. Um, poorly executed, terrible voice acting. Boring ass missions that aren't memorable. Just not very fun. Not a big fan of Pandora tomorrow. Easily the worst in the franchise unless you count like Essentials, Splinter Cell Essentials or some shit. That game sucks too. Ah, oh, come on, bitch. Give me this. Did I already take the flak jacket? I did. I is an idiot. Screw this guy. Screw that guy too. Nice! Animation skip! I love when I do that. I mean, I don't know, man. Pandora Tomorrow was pretty boring to me. I didn't. I never liked that game. Oh, it works in Seven Builder Two too. That's sick. I didn't know that. I just. I'm really bad at it. I, I've. I know how to do it. I just suck at it. <laughs> it's a. It's a tricky little thing. It's like a just frame. You have to time hitting triangle at the right moment, right after you press square. And there's a really tight window the... for it. Right. But I've seen guys hit that shit every time, so it's it's really impressive if you can do that, because it's pretty uh, it is pretty tricky. But keep missing a scientist in this mission. But I better not miss a scientist this time. This would, that would really bug me. Okay, so that was test subjects. Oh, fuck. I'm just trying to think here now. Um, uh, I just don't want to miss another damn scientist this time. So there's ten scientists all together. Here's one. All right, one. Wait, what? Eight, le eight left to kill. All right, fine. That, that works, too. Okay, I guess there's nine scientists. Um, fuck. That worries me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go this way, actually. This is probably better. This guy! You piece of shit! You always evade me, you fucking prick! Yes! That's the guy! Okay, seven. Yes, that is correct. That is the one that I always miss, because I always go the other way. So I think we're good now. I definitely nailed that that time. Seven, if it says seven guys um, left to kill on that part, then you know you're on track. So I'll read the chat in a sec. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get my bearings here. This mission's kind of a bitch. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. <clears throat> First death. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What a horrible way to die. God damn. Didn't even mean to do that. I'd say these missions are probably the hardest in the game. Probably over any. Oh. 
is because um, like Farcom warehouses, Farcom elite guards, Pandora and more was a. I do enjoy. I'm just not a fan of its difficulty. <clears throat> yeah, I get that, dude. I understand where you're coming from. Oh, you gotta fight. Read in the chat. Sorry, guys. You know how people do speedruns? They don't do it live in a stream. If you can speedrun live in a stream, <laughs> that's where you're fucking, that's where you're the tits. I might do like a recorded speedrun. That'd be interesting. I'll post that on on YouTube and people can, can see that shit. Because I don't think I could probably pull an actual speedrun during a live stream off because there's just too much going on. I'm trying to talk to people, trying to have fun with people, trying to fucking make fun of people <laughs> who like Pandora tomorrow. <laughs> just bugging it, dude. Uh, but, uh, you know, that kind of shit. <clears throat> and then I'm trying to like beat this hard ass game on top of that. So, you know, good fucking luck. I might just want to do like a, a recorded one with, with like as little commentary as possible. Maybe the occasional swear word, that's about it. Like you won't hear me say a damn word the entire time and then I'll just like randomly die for no reason in the middle of the speed run. And you'll just hear a big fuck! And that'll be the only commentary of the entire mission. Or the entire game. It's perfect. Can't fucking run from me, bitch! Don't die this time. That was a really lame way to die. Not impressed. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, this is the worst gun to have for this. Oh. Oh, thank fudge he had to reload there. God damn. I got lucky there. That was close. Help me. And you don't get any more you don't get any checkpoints for a long time. Uh. Yeah, man, he's always an asshole. <laughs> always kills me. And there's a lot of guys with flak jackets in this mission, but not enough to where it's like you feel like you have infinite health. Like on Farcom Elite Guards. You kill a guy, you get some health back. They shoot you, you shoot them, you get some health back. I think I know how they it's all good. The virus. You pretty much have infinite health in that mission. Whereas this mission, half of them have flak jackets, half of them don't. So you're getting shot up trying to find a guy with flak jacket. And then, you know, it's, and then you can't find one, but then when you, like, are ready and you want to kill somebody and you, you know where they, oh, see, look at this shit. Ah, get out of here. Come on now. These guys don't have jackets, though, so we're good. A lot of missions depend on limiting your alarms and upgraded AI. Yeah, I agree. Pandora Tomorrow is probably the hardest of all the Splinter Cells. It's very unforgiving. Um, its general design is not very good. It's, uh, it's. I mean, I, I kind of like the whole helmet on, flak jacket on thing, you know, with each alarm sounded. But, I mean, you got missions like, what's what's the Sedano one? Um, I think this guy's a gun too, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. 
Um, that mission's a bitch. And then you got uh, LAX, also a huge bitch. Not very fun. The rest of them aren't too bad, though, I gotta say. And then you got Conviction, which is like the easiest in the whole franchise by far, because the missions are so uh, so quick and you can just run around shooting everybody. You don't have to worry about alarms or anything like that. Jesus. Four left. I think we're on track. I think four is about accurate. Because there's two over here, and then there's two on the crosswalk area that's a little bit higher up, and then there's one in the graveyard. Okay, yeah, we're definitely on track. So there's one. One more right here. Nice. Man, these are long missions. Holy shit. Um. Holy fuck, those guys are cheap. But you guys are cheap as fudge. solid. Okay, here's another scientist. Sweet! Didn't avoid one this time. I'm so happy. Get out of here. No triangle shit for me. Oh shit, that was epic. Holy crap. <laughs> Damn. They're not cheap, they're not they're just not stupid enough. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> you guys are too smart. I should start saying that. Oh, you're too intelligent for this game, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> if I was rolling there, I would have been dead. For the first time this whole playthrough. <laughs> so this is the next scientist coming up. Not this part. Next part. Almost all these guys were flak jackets here, so this gun is like essential for this part. Okay, last scientist is right around the corner. Kilfical. Yes! No more evasion bullshit. That was ridiculous every time that happened before. Super frustrating. You have a jacket. Your buddy doesn't. But he has grenades. Alright. Okay, we are done. Mission freaking complete. Completo. Finito la musica. Diese Mission ist doch fertig jetzt. Bin so froh. Sick. Here we go. Worst mission in the game. So excited. Oh, e port lock. Sorry, I missed that. You like the TV station mission in Port and uh, Pandora tomorrow? Yeah, I, I agree. That mission's pretty cool, especially once you get inside the building. It's good, but um, at the same time, it's uh, hard as fuck. A lot of fun, but hard as fuck. I think I did a, a Pandora tomorrow let's play. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I streamed that like seven or eight months ago, or nine months ago, or some shit. 
and that mission was probably the one I had to redo the most. It's and it's all recorded too. Like all of my mistakes are <laughs> are on the actual video that I posted. So pretty bad, I gotta say. Oh, Jamon. Oh, scientist. You can move up a bit more. And I really hope I don't fail this part. This is like such a freaking annoying part to do. Not as bad as the other one, but... Or as the next part with Fagin, but... uh Feel pretty shitty. Yeah, that uh, the Sedano mission TV station. What is that? Uh, Yakarta? I think that's Yakarta. Isn't it? I can't remember. I know there's Kundang Jungle, and then there's Komodo, and then, yeah, Yakarta, right before Los Angeles. Um, that's probably my favorite mission in that game. Solid. It's super hard, but it's super solid. Getting Sedano is the hardest part. Oh. Please, don't kill me. I love that we can talk about, like, me. some people hate it when you talk about other games that aren't the game you're playing, or other franchises that aren't the franchise you're playing, but we can talk about these franchises because they all have stuff in common, like they're all similar to each other, right? So it doesn't feel out of place. And I love that shit. And everybody likes these, uh, these same franchises because they're all somewhat similar to each other. I just wish more people would get into Hitman, damn it. Hitman's awesome. Give it a chance. <laughs> I mean, it's super successful. A lot of people love Hitman, but holy tits. Definitely not compared to Siphonfield, or at least not on my channel. Let's go. Oh yeah, Chaos Theory is the bomb, dude. It's, it's such a great game. Perfect stealth game. I never tried Spies vs. Mercs either, actually. I was uh, not really much of an online guy at the time for, like, deathmatch shit at the time. I was too busy with the Omega Strain online. Damn, he almost killed... what's his face? Oh, nice! I needed that! That's epic. I didn't know there was a K3G4 there. That helps. Mandy William, you alright, bro? <laughs> Your internet's stupid? <laughs> no, this way. Yeah, this is the way I'm going, bitch. You're just a slow ass douche. Bag am. No. No, 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 no. None of that. That ain't gonna fly, bro. That ain't gonna fly. Nobody's got jacket, that's good. Oh, 
Oh, Jerusalem and Pandora tomorrow is fun too. I'm I, I got more into that mission last time I played Pandora tomorrow. It it sucked me more in a little bit, but I used to hate that mission. I don't like the 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 music is really not very good. The the freaking atmosphere is 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 I don't know, man. It, it's feels like it's got such a crazy religious tone to it, and I'm not a big fan of that. And then the voice acting, like. Just wait until I finish my orange juice. Oh, God, dude. Such a cringy line, but also the best line ever said in a Splinter Cell game, for sure. I love that line. That's almost as bad as, I need to use the bathroom in Hitman. In fact, it's probably worse, because at least 47 says I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Whereas, <laughs> orange juice is said by just some random dude. Is my stream okay? I mean, it looks okay from my end. Are you guys okay with your internet? Or is it just Commander William? Because I'm starting to worry now because he's, he's having a hard time. What's going on? Is the uh, stream quality fine? Is the, is the microphone quality fine? Any feedback would be appreciated. Okay, stream is smooth. That's good to hear. That's her cell. You're on your own now. Leon. Yeah, <laughs> the 47 line. Let's I need to use the bathroom. Here. Top notch shit, man. Top notch. Are you crazy? Hell yeah, girl. Get moving. Damn. Where are you going? I have no idea. Where are you going? I really don't want to die. I haven't died in this mission yet. This, this would be so nice to not die in this mission. Oh, come on. Oh, give me a jacket, bro. Jesus. Oh, damn it. She's actually not too bad, I gotta say. Leon, I've always said this, but Leon is, is some good shit. She's a solid team player. I'm trying to get health, bitch. Shut up. Finally. Does this guy have jacket? Nope. Oh, Christ. Don't kill her. Oh, checkpoint. Hell yeah. We almost out of the woods. Holy tits. Give me this. Whatever this is. Give me it. G18 fudge yeah. I'm going to use this the whole time now. Such a good gun. Yeah, you'd expect her to be more competent, I agree. But there are so many NPCs where you have to escort them, like frickin' Zohar in the Omega Strain, who is just trash. And he's got way better gun than what she's using right now. So, you'd think with weapons comes competence, but nah, not if they're incompetent to begin with. Like, fucking Zohar. 
You got goddamn 50 cal pistols, bro. Where is my covering fire? Oh, dude, I will covering fire your fucking nuts in a second, man. Piece of shit. There's someone up ahead. Please. Ugh. They're all the same in the end. Mara. We don't have much time. If yeah, right? Them, we will all die. He's a boss on Yemen 1. And then on Yemen 2, he's like, okay, so here is the plan. I'm going to go in and kill these people, and then I'm going to become totally useless. You need to help make me alive, because I can't do it unless you do it for me, okay? Because I'm a lazy piece of shit. Yeah, that's pretty much what he says. He will- I've seen Zohar first- oh, Jesus. I don't know why I'm wasting time trying to kill these guys, I don't need to. I've seen Zohar, like, right in front of me, just standing and shooting, but not, like, aiming. He was shooting, like, in the opposite direction, or he just wouldn't shoot at all. So many times. Erickson, Fuck move. that guy, man. What do you want? <laughs> I'll ask the question. Such a douche. It's a bummer that I got shot already, because there is, like, no health in this mission. I need this biz, though. For show. I could use some grenades too. Let me get grenades because it does help. believe we're almost done jesus see if i can do it before two hour the two hour mark that'd be pretty sick i'd be pretty happy with that especially with all the the non-deaths i've had this run so far i felt right damn it shoot i've been pressing square the whole time oh my god oh, my oh. I was pressing, I was like hammering on the square button, and it would not shoot next to the window. Fucking shoot, damn it! Wow! That is the reason I died there. Oh my god. And I'm dead again. Fuck. Now eport locks have an internet problems. What the hell is going on tonight? <laughs> Jesus. Man. That is messed up. I feel bad for you guys. I'm sorry you guys are having internet problems. That's trash. Oh shit, where'd that go? I don't even know where that went. Oh no, you're, I'm reading all your chats. Or I'm at least trying to read as many as I can while staying alive. It's actually quite difficult. Much harder than I anticipated. Damn it, wrong time to press the aim button. Oh shit! What the hell? What was that? What was. Th what? <sighs> I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> it is not possible to get a no death run on this game. This game will see to it. 
that you die. If I have to throw you through the wall, I will. Or through the floor, I will. I don't give a shit. I am the game. <laughs> so, really, that validates my every single death that I did because the game glitched up on me. So... Yeah, <laughs> this game becomes sentient. Yeah, exactly. It's officially grown a conscience. It's like, nah, I don't like what this guy's trying to do. I'm not cool with this. Fucking peace, bitch. You go to the flow now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have wet bandit luck. That is officially a thing now. I, <laughs> I have wet bandit luck. I am the guys from Home Alone. Both of them combined. <laughs> That's fucking unreal. Uh, just trying to evade some fire, you know. It's not. I'm just, it's all good. But that's okay, I'm okay with that, because it does validate my deaths now. Because the game has just made it so I, I would not have got a no death run anyways. So, it's okay. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Why am I climbing down? I don't know this. Oh, shit. Oh. Kill each other, please! God damn, guys, come on now. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. It doesn't usually take that long. Oh, good, it works on data. Oh, bro. <laughs> you have to use data to watch Twitch? Man, streaming takes more data than watching YouTube videos does. Careful, bro. I hope you have a good data plan. That is bullshit. I feel bad for anybody who's having internet problems right now. My heart goes out to you guys, because that is some of the most annoying shit in 2019. Oh, God. All right, first I'm going to do this. I think those guys are dead. Now I need this. Despite me not wanting to go get it. Please be dead. Oh no, you guys didn't even spawn. That's that's also my luck. You guys didn't even spawn during the grenade. I appreciate that. way, right? Yeah. Now the power is off. Right? That's where I'm at now, right? I gotta get open these gates over here. Yeah. Okay. We're on track. We is on track. Mission's almost over. Whew. And then five more. So sick. I love when things work out like that. I 
Now, I got all the viral carriers, right? I tagged them. You're happy it works like this, but you're using data, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I hope you have a good plan, dude, because that's, that's some rough shit. That cutscene in the first Splinter Cell where you turn off the broadcast antenna in the slaughterhouse was, was pretty good too. Oh yeah. Well, how did that go again? It was, uh, uh, what was his name? Fucking Leon. the Colonel and Nikolaj downstairs, right? And then the Colonel sent the two Leon. guys upstairs to go get yeah. Sam. I can't remember right. what they say though. What was his name again? The, the guy that you fight in the abattoir. The one everybody's afraid of. Whoa! Learn how to aim, dude. Wow. Damn, what was his name? Annoying. Look to keep oh it keeps on buffering. I'm sorry, man, that's rough. Jesus, says, come on, guys. Chill. Jeez, Louise. Green coal, that's it. Right, right, right. The Ashislav Green Coal. The Russian Mafia. That's right, that douchebag. He's like kind of a boss fight. It's actually kind of fun. It was like back in the day when Splinter Cell was like, ah, oh, should we do boss fights? Yeah, let's throw this Grinko guy in and see what they think. And then they never did another boss fight again. Oh, you gonna be a bitch? You, I don't care. Jesus. This mission. That's the last oh yeah, I guess Norman South is kind of a boss fight. Check. I guess you're right there. Um, and if you really want to get technical, um, the PS2 Xbox version of uh, Double Agent also has like a, a blatant boss fight, like a no doubt boss fight against uh, Emile Dufresne as well, so I guess the series does kind of have bosses, but not like uh, not like Seven Fielder or Metal Gear, that's for sure. These games are known for their bosses. Damn it! Oh, too slow on the aiming. That was a legit fuck up. So that's my first real death, I guess. Because that was all my fault. I didn't have to die there. That's a bummer. Jesus! Oh my god, man! How does it stray bullet happen? Whoa. These levels are trash. <laughs> oh, I love these levels. These are great. They're way better than the stronghold levels. I love the stronghold levels too. These are these are a lot of fun. Oh. 
They just... This one specifically is... Th this one part through this tunnel here is really unforgiving. Don't shoot the damn barrels, man. Chill the fudge out. That was interesting. Can you aim at the right guy, please? Jesus Christ. Oh. My button wasn't working. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> One thing after another. Alright, mission complete? No, not yet. Now it's mission complete. Oh, Jesus. Gabe, that's warehouse 76. The entrance to the silo is in there. So yeah, I guess Sedona is technically another boss in Splinter Cell 2, but... I don't know, it's an optional fight, so I don't really count that one. Okay. All right, let's do some fancy yeah, shit in this mission because we've already died. Check. So who cares? Let's just do some uh, do some fun shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna fuck around a little bit. Let's finish this mission ASAP as possible. Oh, here we go. Oh, girl. Needs this, I needs that. Thank you very much. Perfect. Oh, God, that's that can be bad. Fuck this guy. You don't want to cooperate? You don't have to cooperate. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see if we got this. This is the tricky part. This is the tricky part. Ah, oh, damn it. It's because I got shot. I didn't have enough health for that. Damn. I don't think I can survive that. Maybe I... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't know if I should try again. <laughs> Because in the last mission I took too much damage, I think that's probably not a good idea. I don't know, fuck it, let's try it one more time. Oh, sick! Fucking perfect. <sighs> I think, yeah, that's probably the, the, the problem. If you take uh, damage to where you actually lose health, then you're kind of screwed for that part. You probably can't survive it. Although, you should be able to survive it because the amount of jacket you have left is still sufficient enough. You usually have some jacket left after that, which I did not that time, so obviously I did it somewhat wrong. Ah, turn around, dude. Jesus. There we go. Oh my god, dude. Jeez. Okay, one more try. Let's see if we can nail it this time. Oh, come on. 
Oh, here we go. Moment of truth. Come on now, guy. Oh, what is that? Come on, dude. Just standing there. Take care, Commander William. Good seeing you, brother. Get some rest. I hope your internet gets back to normal. Suck all the dicks. Oh, fuck you. Alright, whatever. Fuck these guys too, you know what? F them. Oh, God. Oh, thank fudge. Okay, one more try. If this doesn't work, I'll do things the legit way, because this is getting irritating. Oh, no! Just trying to nudge it just a bit. Wasn't trying to run forward like that. It was just nudging the freaking stick, man. I wish this game had a walk function. That'd be so much better. If Gabe could walk. He can't walk. He either stands still or he runs. <laughs> so it makes it so much harder. Oh, Jesus. Alright. This is the last try, because last time I, I just got burned by the fire. So, let me just see if I can actually, like... Okay, there's the spot. Stay right here, don't move. Yes! Just holding my breath for that. <laughs> there we go. Man. That's a bitch to get that, to actually do that. The trick is, like, you gotta stand there, you can't move. Don't press the joystick at all. Just press circle and run, or roll, and you'll... 90% of the time roll Watch off all the fire and barely survive the fall and it just works out just perfectly And it really doesn't matter if you lose a shit ton of health because there's a flight jacket right here, so it's all good but uh, yeah, I, I Really only failed at once because uh, I Only rolled off the ledge one time and, and I timed it wrong The other two times I just stood there and got burned by the fire, so those don't count <coughs> It is tricky though, all that shit. It's fun using these these interesting strats. Like I I remember reading about these um Gabe, those lasers. Check. Fucking what, two thousand five some shit like that. Two thousand four, two thousand five on message boards and shit. And uh, and uh, everybody was super stoked that they were finding out all these really cool tricks and everybody was sharing tips with each other and um, it was me and a couple of buddies that discovered that aiming glitch where you aim while you climb. And, uh, it cuts off some time. And then, uh, I remember a whole bunch of people finding out about that fire trick just now. And then the, the skip animation glitch was, like, the coolest thing. Some guy in the chat, what was his name? I think Hawk8 or something like that it was, a. Uh, I don't know if he's still around. Hawk 8, Goldfinger, all those guys from the Omega strain back in the day were finding out all these really cool OG 7 filter glitches. It was the coolest shit. God damn, really? Wow. You can aim perfectly while you're running, but I can't even aim 
At you while I'm standing still. Fucking, oh, here. Jesus Christ. Right. Oh, come on. Alright. No more deaths. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, fuck. That was stupid. I was stopped to read the chat for a sec. Shot me in midway through a combat roll. Dude, I've been there before, man. That is so annoying when that happens. They're literally rolling and they kill you. It's the dumbest shit. And they're able to do it, but you're not. That's so cheap. You'd think you'd be able to do that, though. What's, what's preventing you from shooting just because you're rolling? Like, what the fuck? <sighs> okay. Actually, I need... Oh, shit. That gun has no ammo. Lovely. No more dying. I want the K3G4 though. I really do. Gabe, those lasers. Right. Oh, fuck's sake. Walked by a bloody grate in the freaking wall. Yeah! Animation skip. I got it that time. <laughs> That's so hard to do. I can't believe how hard that is to do. That's crazy. Unforgiving. Alright, this guy is the one that killed me last time. Yeah, there you go. He was shooting while rolling there. That is some bullshit. Oh my god. That's really the best time to use that gun. There's really no other point to, that you have to use it. This part sucks. Get up there. Oh, you can't do the aim glitch with grenades equipped. That's right. No worries. No worries. Okay. I love that. If you blow it up with, with grenades, you don't have to fight the guys that come down in this area. It's totally Discord tech kind of shit. Love that. Oh, man. Shit. Forgot. 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 Nice. Oh, you never die to that, you loser. Jesus, lucky little bitch. Oh, 
Oh, I'm getting good at that. Okay, this part's, uh... Uh, I don't need to kill these guys. Oh, they created a gap for me. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I've made it into the power room. I'm going to try to overload the generator. Be careful. I'm not sure what that will do to the power room. The whole place could blow. I don't have much choice. They don't always make a gap for you, so you have to sometimes just... Oh, Jesus. Oh, missed it that time. Hey, it's working. There you go, bro. Sick. If you strafe with L2, R2 while attempting it. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thanks, man. Good shit. Alright, so that's a potentially easier animation skip. Alright. Speaking of glitches, let's, uh... Do some fun shit with this one. Oh, sick. Nice. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn. What did you miss? Uh, some epic gameplay, dude. Epic fucking gameplay. Like, better than you've ever seen in your life. I could use a flag jacket. There we go. Yeah, I knew I could use a flag jacket. Good call. Pretty dark on my TV. I can barely fucking see anything. I can just see like their tips of their guns. The only reason I'm able to shoot them. Probably don't even need to kill this guy because it's so dark in here. That's crazy. Yeah, that guy didn't even see me. That's crazy. Oh, what? The one guy left? Holy Christ. I almost got effed on that one. <laughs> Fucking unreal. Leon, Night vision rifle? The elevator down to the silo. See if we have any Soviet... Uh, fuck that gun. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, dude, what the hell? <laughs> that was the main boss in the game. That's that's what that was. That guy was uh Leon, Romer's uh I don't think this is an first yeah. right hand man. Um Yeah, the night vision rifle is cool and all, but it's really useless. I mean it's so damn slow. You have to like aim you know, fuck aiming. Fuck that shit. Are you guys you guys are shooting the missile. That's how stupid you are. Oh, that's so sick. Probably don't need to worry about killing that guy. I actually gotta get downstairs. I just remembered it's on a timer. Whoops. My bad. She counts down from ten, though. Daisy. Oh, shit. Daddy. Oh, shit. Boise. Oh, Sam. shit. Oh, sick. What was I thinking there? That was an idiot move. Wow. Leon, I don't think this is check. Okay, where are they? Where's the other guy? God damn, you don't want to die at all. Okay. I don't know why I forgot that it was a timer. That's so silly. Thanks for the damage, bro. You're awesome. Ah, oh, man. There's another glitch right there. Where if you roll at the right time outside of the door, um, you can skip this whole part where he's waiting for the door to get up because you'll be outside of the room. But the game will think that you're inside. <gasps> the game will think you're inside the room, so you'll just end up um, surviving and skipping that animation right there. So it was Gabe, I'm pretty sweet. Gabe, I'm getting frantic calls from NATO command. They're tracking the missile's launch. All European commands are being ordered to DEFCOM 3. If you don't get to the detonator on level 2 in time, we're looking at World War 3. Jesus. Weltkrieg 3. Ich denk das an. Wow, dude, come on. Spraying all over his face and he still didn't die. Yep, yeah, Markinson's a bad guy. Oh shit. I'm dead. Oh, I'm fucking sweet. I made it. Come on. Man, really? What is that? Twice I've died on this mission now? Holy Christ. One of the easiest missions later on in the game. I'm intercepting frantic calls from NATO command. They're tracking the missile's launch. All European commands are being ordered to DEFCOM 3. If you don't get to the detonator on level 2 in time, we're looking at World War 3. Okay. I wish I had more K3G4 ammo. That gun's super helpful. Fuck your flak jacket, bro. Don't even need to reload. This gun's so good. I totally forgot how good this thing is. Damn. So good. Where are the scientists at? Come here, bitches. Where's the where's the key card? Bruh. There it is. Card key, whatever it's called. Same thing. Oh, no skipping. 
そう It's all bruh. That's so sick. It is, this is a really good gun. I, I totally don't use its, its full power very often because I never really target lock with this thing unless I'm shooting guys without flak jackets. But it's actually strong as tits. Alright. Mission complete. Actually, game complete, I should say. Sick. Nice. Leon, I made it. I'm triggering the missile's detonation. <clears throat> good shit, good shit. Logan! Logan! <laughs> oh, 40 seconds? Dude, I've done that with like one second to spare just to see like, if, like how long it would take. And you gotta stall for forever or just be fucking the dog the whole time. The lab guy started on this <laughs> yeah, you vaccine. Should. No, I mean, bitch. I'll see this. you in hell. What's happened here? Marcus also known as Siphon Filter Fabian, 3. Romer, their plans, the virus. What's it all mean? I don't oh, know. sick. With Markinson dead, I don't know. But if they were thinking of spawning not. Romer literally right behind the player with a grenade launcher. Yeah, <laughs> right? That's so weird. But he doesn't die to grenades. So that's the shitty part about that. It wasn't bad. What is that? Counting the, that's about two hours and a bit. Two hours and a bit. Not bad, not bad. I could keep going though. I'm down to play some more Siphon Fate Down. I just, uh, I don't know what one to do next. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking take a quick piss, get some water. So I will BR, be right back. And, uh, yeah, you guys talk amongst yourselves in the chat decide what the hell you want me to play next because I'm down to keep going if you guys are down to hang out uh, and I will see you guys in a little bit so see you in a second Ja, nein, Ramstein, ja, nein, Ramstein. 
Who's a better villain between Romer and Stevens? Uh, I already said in the chat I like Romer better, but yeah, I get why he like Stevens. He was cool. He was calm and collected, and he was cunning, and he had his own shit going for him. He was pretty badass. But I liked Romer's whole, you know, when Gabe asked him, who's the target? And he's like, doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck. He's just, he's, he, I, I like that about him. He's like, ah, fuck it. Just anybody the missile hits, anybody the missile kills, I'm good with it. He doesn't matter. So I thought that was kind of cool of him, whereas Stevens is all like, get on the rooftops now, I want that chopper, and then throws a phone. Ah, it's just not so, eh, not as badass to me. Not in that case. But, uh, I don't know, Stevens is cool. I honestly like Morgan better than Stevens. Morgan and Archer are both cooler than Stevens, because at least they took place, they, like, took part in the, in the field. Stevens didn't really do anything. He, he he did one 
he went in the field one time only because he really had to and because everybody else was dead <laughs> and uh and then he just pretty much got shot and just stood there and was like begged for his life with his hands behind his back romer never did that romer was a badass no nah, stevens definitely wasn't i i agree he wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty because he did, he did go out in the field, and he did, he was one of the guys you actually had to kill, which I enjoyed. I liked that they did that with Stevens, where whereas like Vince Haddon, he's the real bitch because you never actually get to kill him. He's just a, he's a real pencil neck. But uh, Stevens, I don't know. I think the thing that discredits him for me the most is the whole. Uh, uh, you don't want to kill me, Logan. I'm still useful to you, you know, with his hands behind his back. Nah, man, it's, I couldn't see Romer doing that. Romer would be like, fucking kill me. Do it, bitch. <laughs> so, I don't know. Between those two guys, I'd have to pick Romer, but I like Morgan better than Romer. Morgan's cool. Um... Yeah, let's play some Seven Builder 2. I haven't played Seven Builder 2 in forever. Fuck it. Why not? But I can honestly see either case. I can see people like who like Stevens more. I can see people who like uh, um, Romer more. Oh, I got to switch discs with this. That's so cool. I don't have to get up to switch discs. Fudge, yeah. Nice. Good shit. That's true. If you leave him alone while he's on his knees, he'll kill you. All right. Yeah, you're right. So he is trying to play some mind games with Gabe. You know, he's, he's not really necessarily begging for his life. It's just... Uh... I do like that Stevens kind of put Mara, puts Mara in her place. Like, he's got the balls to talk shit to Mara to her face. So I dig him for that reason, too. Because there's not too many guys that can talk shit to Mara. And live to tell about it, you know. Oh, fuck yeah, it's up to it too. This game is so good. So good. Such a good game. Let's do this. Yeah, he's a weasel about it. I agree. That's another reason why he's not like super high on my list. Oh. Davies, have you seen Chance? So good, man. Oh my god. It's so much easier to control Gabe in this in this game compared to Seven Builder One. He went into that cave, right? Holy crap, man! This is crazy. Gabe actually feels fluid. the The difference between one and two is honestly crazy. I don't think the aim glitch works for this game, though. That's too bad. Eshelman, have you seen Chance? Yes. Ah, oh, it's so much more fluid. I just feel like I have control over Gabe now. <laughs> this is great. Chance, I've been looking all over for you. Still not quite on the level of the Omega Strain, but it's pretty damn close. Like, this feels like Seven Builder. Yeah, the English doesn't work in this game. That's too bad. Oh, well. Oh, and no more animation switch. Oh, it's so nice. Sir, behind you. Look at him. Honestly, going from one to two Get is it. like Get out of here. No. the best feeling. <laughs> Whereas going from two to three is the worst feeling. <laughs> Eshelman, Eshelman, answer me. Yeah, enemies get headshots on you. This is the first game that actually happens on. More realistic that way, I guess. We've got incoming. Yeah, 
Yep, yeah, Archer basically is Gurdu. First boss. Well, I guess Gurdu is technically the second boss in Second Brother 1. Look at that. It's right next to me and he can barely hit me. Yeah, these guys look like they're from Counter Strike. Archer says we'll have the place locked down within an hour, but they're putting up a fight. No, s it's Logan. Kill him. What? What the fuck was that? What? The fuck happened there? I don't know. Oh man. I think this franchise just fucking hates my guts. <laughs> that I don't know. Anybody knows what happened there? What the fuck happened there? <laughs> I have no clue. Not a freaking clue. Says we'll have the place locked down within an hour. Oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll try killing these guys. Maybe that makes a difference. Because maybe they're uh, throwing grenades at me. I don't fucking know. Screw it. There's one guy left. Fuck it. Okay. What is going on? Hey, welcome back, Naroon, bro. I've died twice on the first mission already. <laughs> Do you know what is going on with the, uh, is there some bullshit with the transponder frequency? Like, when I go on top of this ledge and do the transponder, uh, it blows up for some reason. I have no idea what it is. It just, it blows up. I have no idea. Uh, I... I killed two... The first time I didn't kill anybody, and I blew up. Second time... Yeah, I'll just, I'll just show you real quick, just to, maybe because you know what it is. So I'll leave one guy alone. Just to see, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong here? I have no idea. But... Yeah, there you go. No idea what happened. Had the same issue when you played this for the first time last month. Okay. Weird. I've never seen that before. I've never... I've done that a million times and I've never seen that before. That's the third time now. I guess you just have to kill everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea, man. I have no idea. <laughs> I think there's a difference between um, the disc version of the game and the PSN version. Because this is the PSN version. And it's my first time ever playing the PSN version, but I've got the disc version, and I've always played that, and I've always done this the same exact way, for well, for years anyways, and I've never had any problems. So, no idea what the hell's going on. Since when can you hit in, in this mission? Okay, so they're all taken out. Shouldn't be an issue now. That is so strange. There we go, okay. Maybe it's because um, I'm... This is just a guess here. I have no idea if this is right, but it might just be because uh, I've got the, the, the frequency thing in my hand. And okay, no, I honestly have no idea. <laughs> and they're shooting it or some shit? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I just keep going back and dying over and over. Ah, for no reason, too. Fucking weird, man. This mission <laughs> is usually pretty nice to me. Not today, though. Yeah, I didn't hear or see a grenade either. That's so weird, man. No idea what the fuck that was all about. Ah, oh, damn it. So 
It's also pretty crazy going from <laughs> mission 20 of Seven Builder 1 to mission 1 of Seven Builder 2 and seeing the enemy's aim go from amazing to absolute trash. <laughs> it's crazy. Gotta say, these are the best graphics on the on the of the PS1 trilogy for sure. Like this is pretty unreal. The textures are better. Things don't look like a big pile of blocks anymore. It's pretty cool. Yeah, right? <laughs> They're supposed to be top-tier uh, individuals in terms of, like, the agency guys going. Like, and these guys can't shoot for shit. <laughs> Hold up. What is it? So weird. Oh yeah, dude. The f the floatiness of Seven Builder One just throws you right off. This is such an easier game to control. You actually feel like you have control over game. Give me a sit rep. We've got two snipers, one on either bluff. They've got us pinned and we're low on ammo. Ferguson took one in the shoulder, but he'll go, go. So you can use save states? Like, what do you mean save states on an emulator? Oh yeah, it's way harder to fall off ledges in this game. You actually have control over Gabe now. Aiming is virtually feels the same, but everything else is virtually... Um, oh, come on. Everything else is an improvement. And I like the grenade reticle this time around, too. It's so sick. Clear! Kick ass! Stand your ground. I'm gonna scout ahead. Trouble! Incoming from all sides! Heavily armed! Damn it! See, if I was playing 7 Builder 1 now, I would have fallen off the ledge there, because I was nudging L2, which is a straight button for me. And it... Worked fine this time around. But that's crazy. Ramirez, you stay here with Ferguson. Arm yourselves and you should be safe. As soon as I find a clear way to the highway... Oh, okay. So save states for the emulator. You can still do that in this. You can save it after a checkpoint. Um, and... Um, and then leave the game. And then when you boot the game back up again, you'll... Uh, ah, I'm not saving yet. You'll, um... Go right back to where you saved it for the checkpoint. Even if you're in the middle of a mission. We're working on it now. If that's what you meant, I'm not sure if that's the same thing as what you're saying, but yeah, it's just, it's it's a save state thing. <sighs> Doctor. Oh. Damn it. I'm trying to be funny. <laughs> that actually works, though. You have to time it right, but it does work. Doctor. Yes? Are you finished? <laughs> okay, I'm there you go. The That's what I meant to do. <laughs> 
told you to get back. Why did you oh, okay, it's a snapshot of the game state. Save at any point. Okay, gotcha. Not the same thing as what I was talking about then. We have a security breach. Oh, I went the wrong way. What am I doing? Jesus. Can't believe I did that. Actually, there's a trick. Oh, what is the trick here? Yes, you go this way. Damn it. No, that's... Ah, fuck, whatever. I'll just do it the regular way. It's fine, I can't remember it right now. There is a trick in this mission where you don't actually have to go in, into the next cutscene. Um... And it's pretty awesome. I've relieved the guard. We won't be disturbed. Good, Doctor. Is yeah, dude. <laughs> yes, that's the last we need. Just wearing a freaking hospital outfit. No way she could, she could have any weapons on her. Wait, I can still use them back at the lab. Oh, yeah, dude. These guys are totally blind. That's the best part about them. You can literally walk right in front of them half the time and not ever get caught. <laughs> it's fucking great. But for some reason, if you run too close to them, now that is not cool. They do not appreciate that. <laughs> Can't see you for shit, but they can hear you. Because science and math and biology. Buzz Okay. That's not usually how that works. This game wants me to do this legit, and I don't like that. It's not fun. No bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Buzz me out, Carter. Where are you going? I gotta get some air. Those government guys. We have Dude, no way. How? Oh, that is so weird. It's not. That's lame. I guess I'll just do it the regular way then. We have oh, see, he can hear me so well. Right, I was fucking around there. Yeah, ESP, but they, they're blind, but they have ESP, yeah. <laughs> no eyes, but crazy six senses. Damn it, such a bummer to have to wait. Buzz me out, Carter. Where are you going? This is another thing that Seven Builder took for Metal Gear Solid is how blind yeah, the mean. guards are, really. It's uh, body bags, and I got a call from the CEO, notorious so that both tight. franchises have totally blind guards. And it's the same way through the entire the entirety of both franchises. <laughs> Their guards never get eyesight. I'll be back up in a few. If guards can see you, then it's not the same game. Gabe? Are you there? Oh, what? Fuck off. This game hates me. Easiest mission in the world. Still can't beat it. <laughs> it's so nice to have... To feel like you have control. <laughs> it Like, you feel like you're okay in 7 Builder 1, and then you play 7 Builder 2, and it's like, nah, that game gave me no control. <laughs> this game is pure control. It's great. It feels wonderful.
Well, this is weird. Those guys usually have separate patterns. That's interesting. Got it. <laughs> yeah. He no sold the taser. <laughs> All right, now this mission's fun. I love this shit. This can also be considered a, a semi-stealth mission, even though hey, it's really only hey. required to do stealth on the next mission. You can definitely take a lot more punishment in this game, or in this, uh, yeah, early on in this game. Hey, that's funny. I got the equipment, but I didn't get any equipment. <laughs> what the fuck? the flak jacket's still there. <laughs> Cheap. Hey, Brundlefly. How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. One guard out there. Does that seem right? Yeah, they didn't even give me armor. <laughs> the fuck is that? Oh, shit. I got spotted a little too early here. Ah, it was not a good idea. I didn't mean to do that. I'm probably going to die here. Oh, maybe not. This isn't hard mode, so I should survive. Oh, okay. I always speak too soon. <laughs> All right. That's how I shoot it down. Oh, this guy's a flak jacket. Interesting. Oh shit! I moved too far forward. I didn't mean to do that. I was looking down at the chat. Son of a bitch. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Oh, wow. This is not Siphon Builder 1, that's for damn sure. <laughs> Look at that. There was no way I would have got a checkpoint there if this is Siphon Builder 1. <laughs> Crazy. Where the f... Where's Chance at? There he is, you slow-ass bitch. There's two AP. There's no escape, Logan. Come out with your hands in the air. Hold your fire. I'm coming out. Are you crazy? Get back here. You got a better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With every death in SF1, you get sent back. Yeah, it's crazy. This shit's insane. It's definitely a lot harder than this game. I have no question about it. Power's out, Gabe. You work. <laughs> yeah, the APC cut Gabe in half. 
There's two APCs sitting in the middle of the roadway. They'll cut us in half. Gabe's like, I know. I just got cut in half. You're right, man. That was some shit. It's a good thing I'm pretty much invincible. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I am so glad that I don't have that dig in your pocket animation anymore. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it feels so good. I can actually play the game and not have to worry about dumb shit. I really do love Seven Fielder 1, but holy fuck, there's such an improvement between this one and that one. Crazy how, how much they improved. When the charges are set, I'm gonna call. Oh, that's some dumb shit. When the charges are set, I'm gonna call. Oh. It's Logan. Blow the bridge now. Yeah, the ten second delay. It's just it's also the fact that you can't roll or do anything during that delay. <laughs> You're just fucked. He's digging in his pocket for change. And you're just screwed the whole time. <laughs> Man, I'm rusty on this game though, that's for damn sure. Whoa. Did not realize those guys were where they were. Come on now. Damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. There's a trick there. You can kill them both at once. It's alright, I got a uh, checkpoint there, so it's all good. You just have to wait to the right moment, though. I think that was my moment. I fucked it up. Ah. Damn it. This is bullshit. <laughs> they have no idea, though. This is kind of fun. <laughs> it's yeah, I have to go now. around. Ah, I gotta figure this out real quick. Okay. There we go. That's it. All right. Now the mission's freaking easy. Fucking move, bitch. All right. Jesus. 
Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, the double kills with the sniper is so sick. This is a way better sniper rifle. It's a one-shot body kill. It's just all around good. Yeah, on Gabe's mission in the Omega Strain. I'm glad they kept that double kill thing in, man. It's so sick. It's been in the franchise since this game. And I think it's still in Dark Mirror. I'm not sure. And Logan's Shadow. I can't remember. Kill this guy because he's a pain in the dick. Jump. Oh, shit. Logan, blow the bridge now. Way too far. Man, way too far. Can I kill that guy? Yeah, I can totally do that. It's Logan. <laughs> Can I kill that guy? Yeah, totally. Nope, you can't. He's too fast for you. Oh, shit. Oh. Whoa. That could have sucked. Oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, the sniper rifle's borderline useless in the next couple games. Or in the first game, I mean. It's amazing in this game. What? Oh, because I didn't kill that guy. Right, right, right. <sighs> first time playing in months. Come in some slack. I suck right now. <laughs> yeah, these bridges are a bitch. Not very fun. Oh, can I... I should have killed that guy. Yes. Let me kill this guy real quick. And this guy, too. Suck, suck like all the dicks. You die. Alright, perfect. Alright. And one more guy to kill. This little bitch over here. Whoa! Actually, fuck that. I want to go down. Oh, shit. It's supposed to, like, move. Ah, fuck it. Whatever. You know what I mean. Ah. <laughs> this thing. There you go. Thank you, Gabe. Jesus. Doing that fast is, like, way slower than doing it not fast. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Why don't you just kill us now, you shut up? <coughs> is that all you got? I said shut up. What the hell? Sick. Ramirez, where's Ferguson? Okay, let's skedaddle. Fudge yeah. Get the shotgun out. I'm gonna need it. 
No, don't get him. Ignore him. Ow. Ow. Fuck off. Ow. Whoa. What? Okay. <sighs> get him. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah, freaking crazy target lock. What the hell is that? I've never seen them be that accurate before. All right, got one. Just ran right. What the fudge, dude? Bro. game doesn't want me to do anything today. Just don't, just stop trying to play, stop trying to win. What are you doing? Stop trying to win. You can't fucking, you can't win. This is 7 field of 2. You can't win. What do you think this is? 7 field of 3? Oh shit. Okay. All GIs are saved. We're good. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> All right. Now a really boring mission. Well, it's boring and it's fun at the same time. Remember not being able to complete this mission at all back in the day. Teresa, come in. Ballard, one of the feds needs a lift over the main gate. I want you to double time it over to admin and drive the truck for him. Who? HCOM alert! We've got an intruder! Yeah, that doesn't work. Fuck. Teresa, come in. Yeah, speaking of waiting around, I was trying to do the thing where you can skip that whole waiting around thing and actually beat the GI to the Jeep, but I fucked up. What the hell are they up to? Don't ask questions, Airman. Just move. Yes, sir. No big deal. I'll just do it regular. I've never been really super good good at this mission. This has always been one that I'm usually have to do it two or three times before, I, or fail it two or three times before I nail it. Got to fail it till you nail it. What took you so long? I've been waiting here for ten. Teresa. There's a lot of cutscenes in this one too. It's frustrating. Don't spot me, bitch. Nice. Did you hear that? Hear what? I thought I heard something. I'll go check it out. I love that if you just walk straight, they can't hear you. It's pretty good. I want my chopper cleared for immediate takeoff. Put the second chopper on standby. I'll be there shortly. The rest of the cargo looks secure. Everything from Farcom West is now accounted for. Sir, the F-22... Kind of a bummer, though. Like, the first two stealth missions in this game, you play as Leon for both of them. You don't even... Like... You don't even get a stealth mission as Gabe until what? We can't afford any more uh, The Expo Center, I guess? Is that the first one? Which doesn't even really count as a stealth I guess it is a stealth mission, but not really. You can get seen and not fail the mission. I guess if you're seen by the uh, GIs, you fail, but still. I think that is the first stealth mission is Gabe. Unless you count the third mission, inter uh, no, sir. 
I-70 interstate. I'm sorry, sir. Yes, I have the transport's location, and the tower has cleared me. I'm still waiting for the... Teresa, radio gave him time. Yeah, his first, like, legit... Oh, shit, I forgot about that guy. His first legit uh, stealth mission where it's, like, stealth all the way through. Can't be seen by anybody for the most part. It's definitely, um... Definitely the bio lab for sure. And then that's it. <laughs> Damn, there really isn't too much. I do gotta admit though, this game or this mission has pretty good atmosphere. Pretty sick. Mission could use a couple of things different, or like do a couple of things different. Like less cutscenes would be nice. Um, really, that's my biggest gripe with it is the cutscenes. There's a fuck ton of them. Doesn't need to be there. Yeah, you can jump up and grab this out of the truck and pretty much ride it. Pretty sick. Without the escort, airman. Sir, sorry, sir. Bugging hello, Holman. Oh. Goodbye, Holman. Little bitch. <laughs> Beyond shaking her booty. Oh shit! I, was... uh, I guess I don't really have an excuse. <clears throat> this is the second game, not the first one, so I have control over the character. I just chose not to use it. Not gonna blame the game for that shit, even though it was the game's fault. What? Okay, that was the game's fault. The fuck was that? Jesus. Yeah, right? <laughs> that one guy that can that actually has vision in this game. <laughs> oh my god. I touched his leg pant and I got fucking alerted. God damn. I guess their leg pants have or their pant legs. I touched his leg pant? No, I touched his pant leg. What the fuck kind of English is that? <laughs> I touched his leg plant. Fucking uh must have, like, sensors on their pant legs indicating that somebody is nearby so they fail the friggin' mission. Fuck's sakes.
Oh, hey, I have this gun. That's pretty sick. Come here, bitch. Yeah. Man, I'm failing a lot. <laughs> Killing me. Holy tits. <sighs> no, sir. Agent Holman has not checked in yet. The F 22 has been cleared for takeoff. Priority one. Personnel have not seen it leave the hangar yet. I'll find out, sir. Hey, Sarge. These feds are getting pretty antsy out here. One of them is clear for takeoff. Hold on. Agent Falcon? Nice. Nice, nice. All right. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta fix my back. Holy tits. Ugh. Fuck. I'm getting old, man. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Getting old when you when sitting down for three hours is tough. <laughs> oh damn it. Right. Fuck that up. Waiting. This is so hard on hard mode. Oh, Let's what the alert. fuck? We got an intruder. Bitch. We have to tase a GI? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Literally just said the same thing. That's awesome. <laughs> it is a bitch. The best way to do it is, uh, I find, is uh, tase the, the GI guy and then pause it and switch to your sniper via the weapon settings and on the pause menu. Otherwise, you're just... Asking for shit. All right, I'm through waiting. You stay here. When he <laughs> make an odd noise upon sitting down, dude. I've been doing that for years now. Shit. <laughs> That's not good. God, it's so easy on normal mode. Fuck. You know, a game is hard when it doesn't have an easy mode. It just has normal and hard. Teresa. I've got a ride and clearance all the way to the crowd. <laughs> Elite pilot, you're getting old too. Just did an ah noise while sitting down. <laughs> I hear you, bro. Shit's rough. Turn around, bitch. <laughs> Just dead bodies. Ah, oh, good shit. <laughs> yeah, this mission's funny. It's not even hard, it's just funny. The next mission can be tricky because it's got uh, dudes with flak jackets, but this one's just a fucking joke. You got hit by the helicopter before? Bro, that is common as hell. Don't feel bad about that. That happens every second time I play this mission. This, this freaking mission, dude. <laughs> it's That's the funniest part about it. That When the chopper comes by, if you walk right in the center of the train car, you will get hit by the chopper nine times out of ten. Oh yeah, the demo had this freaking mission. That is so... holy shit. I remember that. And then people started bitching about how hard it was. <laughs> so they dumbed it down hardcore for the actual release. Thanks, humans, for sucking at Sevenfielder and making this less enjoyable for everyone but you. Pieces of shit. Those guys probably don't even play this game anymore. Treacherous pricks.
Man, it's cool that uh, so many that you guys are, are like siphon builder vets that you've been around since the old days. You know, it's it's uh, it's pretty sick. I gotta say, there's not too many uh, veterans of this franchise because it's been a dead franchise. Well, I guess there is veterans of the fr pretty much anyone who likes the franchise is probably a vet because it's been dead for 12 years. <laughs> so. I mean, at this point, even if you just came into the franchise at Logan's Shadow, you're still technically a vet. Because <laughs> it's the 12-year-old game and it's the newest in the franchise. Oh, it's so sad to say that. Fuck, that game's going to be 13 pretty soon. Jesus. Oh, you're a lovely person. All right, easy mission. Next one's pretty tricky. Rundlefly just started Dark Mirror for the first time. Was that uh, your first Siphon Filter, or was that uh, just your first time playing Dark Mirror? Dude, don't even get me started on what's... <laughs> I think all of us would probably die simultaneously of a heart attack if they announced a new Siphon Filter. <laughs> just anything with the franchise like oh they're doing anything they're finally releasing that uh, what was it called uh, comic book that they were going to do between Dark Mirror and Logan's Shadow explaining the story between both those games um, the, the something effect shoot for fuck's sakes Jesus opposition effect that's it yeah thanks man yeah even if they just announced that, I think all of us would have a heart attack. It's pretty much guaranteed. Oh man, I need jacket for this. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All else fails, just kill yourself. It's actually fine, though, because I, I needed more health. Especially for the next mission. The next mission is kind of tough. Why does my shotgun have no ammo? Weird. Yeah, that whole mission is a boss fight. The next mission, it's pretty damn good. And then you got the archer fight, which is really only hard if you're trying to unlock that thing. Um, that uh, two-player, multiplayer character or map? I'm not sure if it's a character or a map, but uh, either way, you have to kill archer in one shot. Uh, that's pretty tricky. Unfortunately, on normal mode, uh, you get a checkpoint right before the archer fight, which is super friggin' chill. Yeah, that's just crazy. I don't know how they expect you to... Really, it's just your first shot that you need to hit him with, so you can shoot multiple times, but you have to kill him with the first bullet. Oh, these guys are the infinite health guys. That is insane. Look at that shit. <laughs> infinite health. Well, I already shot him to hell while he was running away, so I get why he died right away. But those guys have pretty much infinite health. Crazy. Leon, I've made it to the engine, but 
to stop in time. Time for that backup plan. Right. I'm in position now. Sweet. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Oh. <sighs> All right. First boss mission. Pretty crazy. Um, in Seven Fielder 1, the first boss is on mission 3, and the second boss is on mission 5. In this game, you don't even see a boss until mission 8. They really the immerse you in the game. Ooh, and every boss mission has the same music, and it's all this music. That's how you know it's a boss mission. That's so badass. Hey, look up there! We need some back. In hard mode, these guys aim for your head, and they have flak jackets. Normal mode, they're little bitches. Oh, so stiff. Aiming with the with the scope zoomed all the way in is tricky. I keep thinking I have to like prepare to switch my weapons out because I have to go through the animation of changing weapons. I'm still in that mindset. <laughs> I still think that <laughs> he has to dig into his fucking pocket. He's in position now. This is probably my favorite mission, if not... No, 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 no. Second favorite. Agency Biolab is my favorite. I love that mission. Stealth and everything is so good. But this one's a close second. Super good. I love the atmosphere. And the environment's so sick. It's just a wall of fire around you. Like, god damn, that's epic. Crazy. I love how in this game it's basically like, <laughs> um, oh hey, you know what we should do for hard mode? Let's give them a checkpoint every, you know, let's give them one checkpoint per mission. That is basically Siphon Builder 1 the entire game <laughs> in normal mode. That's the difference. Seven Builder One is hard mode. Seven Builder Two. Where's your freaking head? Ah. See that? I wouldn't get a checkpoint there in hard mode. That's crazy. Shoot! Damn it! Why wasn't it shooting? Fuck! I was pressing square the whole time! Jesus! That is so lame. <clears throat> Red Team, he's south of your position. Move in now! <laughs> you hate when that happens? Okay, well, it's, at least it's not just my bullshit, because that is really frustrating. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. God damn, dude. Some snipers on that south ridge. I'm gonna 
easy mode this shit. Boss battle, here we go. Yep, first shot, no problem. Jesus, fuck. So long, Archer. How do they expect you to do that? <laughs> I mean, I've done it, but holy Christ. Remember the old days where it wasn't easy to do. Sweet. <laughs> Mind control that guard. We were right. The NSA has shut down the entire exposition center. Oh. Back to the shit spo center. Fuck this part. Intruder alert! Same music as the as Seven Builder One though. Gotta love it for that. Gabe sounds like he's always scared of something. Makes you laugh. <laughs> it's John Chaikin and being really nervous in the recording studio. That's what it is. <laughs> he has fear in his voice because he's literally never done this before. <laughs> oh, that was a headshot. Come on, bruh. It even said headshot. There's Logan. No, stop it. You're Logan, you bitch. Oh, he's down there now. Oh, I remember how weak this gun is in this game. Wow, I should have waited to get that flak jacket. Holy tits. I want that uh, HK5. It is pretty cool though, like this is a nostalgia bomb for anybody who started with the first game. It's pretty sick. I remember playing this mission and thinking, man, this music sounds familiar. Holy shit, this area looks familiar. What the fuck is this? And I look at the title of the game or the mission, I'm like, well, fuck, I'm Expo Center. Oh, it's the Expo Center. Holy tits, it's crazy shit. I was like freaking out. I was like, wow, these games are so connected. It was so cool. That was one of the things I really like about this franchise is they really, like, all the games reference each other. They're all intertwined in some way or another. Like, one of the best moments in all the franchise's history is when uh, Singularity is citing back all the shit to Gabe at the end of Damn, this is bad. Call uh, Dark Mirror. Too much the last mission here. of Dark I'll Mirror. Back and put in the call. I'll stay here and look around. Um... And it's just the coolest shit because he talks about, like, Markinson and Benton. Oh, shit. And then he talks about um, Vince Haddon and all that and Mara Aramov and Stone. And uh, and then he brings up Nicolescu. I'm like, wow, this is all, like, old shit that we all know. It's so rad. Oh, fuck. I just spoiled it for you, didn't I? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm sorry, man. I forgot you just played that last month. <laughs> Damn it. Spoilers. There you go. <laughs> Fuck's sakes. <laughs> hey, come here and take a look at this. Damn it. She's hot. Is this last month's issue? Yep. I don't think anyone will miss this. Do you? Yeah, that, that speech at the end, man. And, like, Brundlefly, as soon as the mission starts, pretty much. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to hide it anymore. That's just... The <laughs> I already ruined it for you. Sorry, dude. Um, just that whole, um, 
that it's a great mission because it's a really memorable boss fight. But on top of that, it's just his speech is so memorable, so epic. Best boss speech in well, best speech in the whole franchise, I'd say. So good. Oh shit. Damn it. Ah. Whoops. Not what I wanted to do. Hey, come here and take a look at this. She's hot. Is this well, Brunnerfly, have you ever played uh, Logan's Shadow? Or are you um, still on your way to playing that game? Damn oh, what? Ah, oh, you heard me. Talking too much. Being an idiot. Come here and take a look at this. She's hot. Is this last month's issue? Yep. I don't think anyone will miss this. Do you? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Same mistake over and over again. Oh, okay, you're playing Logan's Shadow after you beat Dark Mirror. Fair enough. That makes sense. Good way to do it. Hey, this franchise is definitely this? one that you have to play in order. Hot. Is this last month's issue? Yep. One to one, one to six. You? There's no point in playing any of them out of order because they're all super inter intertwined. So. Damn what? Man. How good is that guy's hearing? For fuck's sakes. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna hey, come say here screw it. She's hot. Ah. Nope, that doesn't work. I have no clue. <laughs> hey, come here and take a look this at this. This is some bullshit. She's hot. Is this last month's issue? Yep. I don't think anyone will miss this. Do you? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he doesn't care about naked chicks and porn and magazines and <laughs> I can't believe there's a girly mag in this game. That's how old this game is. It's a girly magazine in this game. <laughs> Fuck, man. Alright. This guy sucks all the dicks. Damn it. Oh my god. Alright. Come in. We've got an intruder here. <laughs> Curly mag equals sleep time. Hey, come here and take a look at this. I'm asexual, thanks very much. Is this last month's issue? Yep. I don't think anyone will miss this, do you? <laughs> yeah. Curly mags don't give me boners. What gives me boners is stopping Gabe Logan. I have a boner for justice. No! Wrong button! Son of a bitch! S fucking square, not circle, you piece of shit. Alright. Hey, come here and take a look at this. I swear to god I know how to play this mission. <laughs> Is this last month's issue? Yep. Oh my god, dude. This, do you? <laughs> Fuck sakes, man. <laughs> God damn it. Suck it. Yeah, you little bitch. You like that taser? Where do you want that taser? In your mouth? Put it in your fucking mouth. Um, Alright, I'm just gonna do this. Because this guy... The guy upstairs is annoying as hell. And this guy's a problem sometimes. So let's take him out. And that way this guy over there starts walking in the other direction in perfect time. So he's gonna miss us just barely as we're flying over to the ledge. Hurry up, bitch. Perfect. For some reason, he can see us when we're hanging off the ledge, but when we're literally flying at his face, he can't see shit. <laughs> this fucking game logic is amazing. <laughs> Logan just went rat. Get some. Gabe, come in. I've been. 
Yeah, that was a great call. Throw a grenade and make it fall down the vents, you dumb shit. Alright, what was that on the chat? Okay. I always wondered how the Dark Soul days were inspired by Siphon's difficulty. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it gets a good point. Who? How the fuck does he even know I'm in the vents? Oh, grenades. This part is, an, is essential. We must take grenades. Otherwise we die. Mission cannot be completed. That's one of the bitchiest parts in this mission. You don't take grenades there. You are virtually fucked. And you're right. This is the guy that knew, found out that we were in the vents. And... And how? <laughs> He's all the way up here, man. That's weird. I don't know. Fuck it. Seven for their logic. <laughs> That's all it is. Perfect. Gotta take those guys out anyways, so. <sighs> Perfect. Uh, his dead body just moved, I swear it did. It's crazy. Leon, I'm planning the decoy. You almost gave up on Seven Builder One Expo? Dude, I almost gave up on the Expo <laughs> Expo Center. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a great series, man. Keep it up, brother. Sometimes Keep it up. Oh yeah, dude, that <laughs> This game on hard mode is quite different. It's a lot of shit that you don't this is why you need grenades in that one spot, by the way. But um yeah, this game is a totally different beast on hard mode. I would love to see a speed run of somebody doing this on hard mode. Like, it's already hard enough on hard mode, but a speed run with no deaths? That'd be fucked up. I don't think that's ever been done, honestly. I can't find any videos of it, so I got no proof that it's been done. I know I can't do that. I sure as fuck can't do that. I've tried doing that. I cannot do that. It's a hard-ass shit to do. Oh, that's a GI. Yeah, Bruno Fly, stick with the uh, with the franchise because it will it'll treat your white if you get. Uh, oh shit! What am I doing here? Fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up. That was my bad. Oh, I gotta be a little quicker with that. <clears throat> this part is pretty unforgiving, though. Like, you have to really... <sighs> you have to nail this part. It's pretty tricky. Um, if you were able to stick with this franchise, it's one of the best and most fun franchises out there, really. It's super good. Super addictive. And it'll keep you in, in uh, investigated. Or it'll keep you investigated? No. English. It'll keep you invested. For years to come. So good. And I think now, nowadays, we're closer to a new, a potential new game than we ever have been before. I'm not saying that to fucking... You know, get anybody's hopes up because I don't know shit. But on, uh, the if there's ever a time to get into Siphon Filter, now would be it because this is like legit 
the best um, the best time for it because we're very close to we we are potentially close to a sequel just because of how well Days Gone did. And yeah, I play Dark Mirror on PSP too. The controls take a lot of getting used to, but you will get used to them. They do suck for a while, though. I, I totally agree with you. Yeah, they're adding too many references to to make it really fair in, in Days Gone. If you're adding all those references, you know where your roots are. Like, you know why your studio even has money to hey, begin Mom, with. What are you doing here? <laughs> like, Siphon Filter sold multiple million copies. Like, it's not exactly a an unknown franchise. People know it. It's just, it's been dead for so long that people have forgotten about it. Now, if you were to bring it back, people would... Like, their memories would be jogged again. Uh, it would sell like fucking hotcakes. The old games would start selling again. Like, it's just... The best thing you could do right now is bring the game back. And because of the, how hot Days Gone is right now, it's, it's, it's never been a better time. <clears throat> like, I've never seen such a... an active... Thought you were faster than that. An active will towards wanting to get this the franchise uh, reinvigorated in fucking years, man. But the community is not silent normally, but they're really not silent this time. Damn it. What? What the fuck? Ugh. Oh what my you god. Ugh. Uh, just fucking... Ugh. Uh, <sighs> uh, fuck that guy. <laughs> I was ready for him too. I was waiting for him. I was like, where the fuck is that guy? And he just comes out of nowhere. It's like, you should have already been there by now. Douchebag. Thought I already killed him when he was coming down the ramp. That's a bummer. Thought you were faster than that, Logan. Proto train to spoke so long. Get him off me. I wouldn't mind trying like a full franchise run of this game. Or, or yeah, a full franchise run of this franchise. I mean. Oh shut up. Suck all the dicks. Come on, dude. Get over there. Got him. Yeah, I know. That hard mode bitch is such a pain in the ass. There's a lot of crazy shit in this game from, from normal to hard. A lot of the stuff is added or... Or changed. Pretty cool that they did that. You don't really notice much of a difference with Seven Builder One. Only difference I really notice in Seven Builder One is uh, He's in here. the guys on the first couple of missions can actually aim. That's about it. And the guys in the catacombs are fucking relentless. Whereas in Seven Builder 3, the only difference I notice is they they make you use the friggin' map in Australia. Shoot for fuck's sake. Instead of just having them on the radar. Oh, crap. Whoa, that was close. Three down. Damn, how many more are there? 
uh, for the stuff that you need to find the antidote for the virus that the aboriginals have. That's the biggest difference I noticed in the third game. So, it's, it's hard mode is like nothing in 7 to 3. Slippery. Keep moving. That guy can be annoying sometimes. But yeah, I'd really like to do uh, like a full franchise run from 1 through 6. Because I can do that without changing any settings on my OBS. Because they're all virtually the same thing. They're all component. Because these, okay, these games are run... What, what the hell? I'm going the right way, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Shut up, bitch. You can't kill me, Logan. <clears throat> this place is I just plug in my PS3 via component cable and away we go. Or PSP, sorry. Whoa. Chill out, bitch. You know, it's not oh, that's freaking awesome. I don't know how I'm still alive. <laughs> this game is weird, man. This franchise is weird. How am I still alive after that? But then I die from the dumbest shit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's how I record PSP footage is with TV out capability. I still have that cord. Like, the only way you can buy those things now is if you go on eBay or some shit. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. My, my PSP is the PSP 3000. You can't do that on the PSP Go. So... Um, only problem is I have to stretch the image so it's like it's 720p stretched so it's like right in between like 720p and like 650p or some shit not as good quality as it could be um, but it's you know I'm still recording PSP footage which is pretty cool Sick. Hardest boss fight ever. Sure, I'll save. Why not? Let's make a name. Um. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> PSP 2000 still works, but still works. What? Wait, yeah, check your memory card. Okay, good. Um. Oh, that's some bullshit. Your cousin fucked your shit up? God damn, dude. Kick his ass! It's all good, though. I mean, fuck. PSP is so hard to play with just the screen. I can't play that. I have to, like, plug it into my TV or I can't play PSP at all. It's so hard on my eyes. Nice! I got it! It's actually really easy to get it. Leon, you can got it anytime, girl. Oh, sick! We get the Biz 2 again. Man, I love this mission. This is Leon's best mission, I think. Definitely her best mission. The music is sick. It's just non-stop run and gun. So it's exciting. Give me all the ammos, bitch. Sick. Fuck yeah. Oh, 
Hard mode, that guy kills me right away almost every time. <laughs> guy on the right. Aim and fire! Shoot, there she is! Guy on the left. Uh, where is she? I don't see anything. Good shit, dude. I can see why you get paid the big bucks. Oh, fuck. More biz ammo? I'm all over that shit. That is so cheap that you can do that. Oh my god. Wow. Oh shit. Damn, dude. Cheap ass little bitch. So this guy's headshotting and the other guy's throwing grenades? Alright, that's it. I had enough of your shit. Bitch ass bitch. Such a good gun. Still a really good gun in this game. So sick. <laughs> she dodged that nade because she fucking. Because. That was all me, dude. <laughs> I was gonna give her credit. I'm like, fuck that. It's my shit. I did that, not her. <laughs> That part can be tricky sometimes. Did I get grenades? Where are grenades again? Oh, they're in this section. How are you alive? Damn, dude. No, where are the grenades at? I swear there are grenades over here. What? Am I... Am I too early? Am I not in the section where you get grenades yet? Yeah, this is all... No, no, no. Is this it? Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay, yeah, I'm too early. Not bad. It's been a while. If they were to remake older seven coolers, would you want them to keep some of the glitches in there? Jumping up to the pipe, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, keep the glitches in there? Ah, uh, I don't know. I mean, because the glitches that you do are basically glitches to make it to where you can... Oh, fuck. I'm dead. What? How? Okay, that time that wasn't me. That was just straight up Leon being a fucking boss. <laughs> and why are you throwing grenades at yourself? This is where you get grenades, right, right, right. Um, the glitches that are in, like, Seven Builder 1, for example, are there to be taken advantage of because it's such, the, the mechanics are so faulty that it's hard as fuck to do that game as it is with the standard controls and everything, so... Honestly, if they just made the game smoother, which I don't see how they possibly wouldn't do that considering it's PS4 now, um, we wouldn't need the glitches anymore, so yeah, fucking get rid of them, but just, you know, either get rid of them and make the game smoother, oh shit, or keep them in and leave it the same with updated graphics, but I don't think they'd ever do that, that'd be nuts. Like, what's the point of remaking a game if it's, if it's just as shitty to control it as the, oh fuck. Oh, third grenade got me, alright. Fuck. That strobe light is really killing me. 
I gotta get rid of this ship. There we go. Bitch, where you at? <laughs> Man, just mow them down. Crazy shit. thing I was thinking about was enemy pathing, uh, how updated game that might change. You would basically have to relearn it all. Yeah, dude, that would be so sick. That's, it would give you a reason to play the originals still, and it would give you a reason to play the new ones, or more reason to play the new ones. Yeah, they, I really hope they would change a few things. You know, enemy pathing being one of them, obviously. Um, adding some more weapons, you know, like adding guns that we are familiar with from the other from the later games into the older, earlier ones, you know, would be really cool. Like, I would love to have my my baby, the C8 rifle, in this fucking in the new games. That'd be super sick. Ah, you can stay alive. I don't give a fuck. You can't really, dude. I'm right here. What? Oh, okay, now you can see me. What the fuck? <laughs> Love trolling the AI, it's some good shit. No, I don't care about the radio call. Piss off, bitch. That either. Give me this. That mission objective is a cunt. <laughs> Imagine if they did remake a lot of the trilogy. Oh shit! Alright, that was my bad. And weapons like the Seed Rifle as unlockables. Yeah, dude, that'd be that'd be perfect. That'd be that's like ideal for them to do that. There we go. Oh, come on. Jesus. Dude, there's a guy shooting at you. I'm running away from you and you're shooting me. You dumb fuck. Jesus. Oh god. Oh god. What? Okay. <laughs> I don't die on this mission. This is not a mission I die on. Even Gregorov doesn't kill me. The fuck is going on? Yeah, the rooftops with M79. Yeah. I don't even know what happened. <laughs> All right, cool. There we go. Night vision rifles, I'm all over that. Give me this thing. All right. Let them do their thing. Should only need to use two of these. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. That's a bummer. Oh, well, I only need one, but still. Really, only should have used two for that, because one knocks the three of them out. Oh, I guess three. Of them. You should. You would have two left, is what I meant to say. You should have two shots left, but I guess not. That's fine.
Yeah, I'm really enjoying this, I gotta say. Like, going through the whole franchise is definitely a goal of mine. I would love to go from one to six and beat them all in one night. That would probably be like a 12 hour stream, but I'd still I'd love to do that sometime. Definitely need a full, like, uh, few minute break every time I did that, though. Like, every game I finish, I would need, like, a 10 minute break for sure. That would be fun. I would totally do that. In fact, I'm going to do that. Oh, tits. Okay, there is... I do want to try something. Where is the last checkpoint? Oh, it's right behind this. Oh. Okay, I, I am going to try something one time. Just to see if I can tr do it. There's this cool trick there. I'm not even going to say what it is. But it is a pretty sick trick. <laughs> You have to have a certain gun equipped. I think you need this equipped. For some reason it doesn't work unless you do, unless you have this. Oh shit, I need this. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Alright, right here. Where am I? Alright. This should work. Ah, oh, damn it! Ah, oh, man! <laughs> if you go right smack in the middle of the cars, they can actually drive through you, and you don't. Have <laughs> it is a. It's a legit thing. It's. I've, I've done it a couple of times, totally by accident, but it actually works. It's pretty sweet. I'm not sure if you have to be running towards them. I can't remember what it was, but it's. It's fucking like. I discovered it one day because I was just panicking. I was like, fuck, where's the thing? I gotta grab the thing. And then it was, it was too late. I couldn't grab it. And I just, but I survived somehow. I was like, what is that shit? So I tried to recreate it. And, uh, and then people in the, like, message boards and shit found out the same thing. So it wasn't just my game. It was, like, everybody was able to do it. I was pretty stoked about that. Ah, oh, let me just try it one more time. Oh my goodness. Ah, fuck it. I don't want to die again. It's not worth dying again. And I do want the M79, so whatever. Alright, rest of the mission's easy as tits. I really wish these cops would piss off and not try to kill me, because I'm, like, saving their ass. Oh, yeah, the M79 guy, yeah, he pisses me off, too. <laughs> I kept getting blown up after uh, doing that part back in the day. Had no idea why, and then realized that there was a guy with an M79 behind you. Holy tits, can you die, please? I'm dead. Fuck it. Do this. Forty-five seems to work best with that. Yeah, right? Why? <laughs> what are they doing? They're just blowing shit up. And they're not even aiming at me, so what the fuck are they doing? I think they just got really high. They don't even work for the agency. They just got really high. Like, dude, you know who's sick? We got grenade launchers. You wanna, you wanna do something with them? Hey, let's go off. Let's go climb on a rooftop in Moscow and fucking... Like, shoot at the streets. And, and at police officers. Let's shoot at police officers. Yeah, good idea. That's what I had in mind, too. Sick, dude. Great minds think alike. Oh, my God. Next mission is uh, limited visibility. Definitely limited. 
Holy crap! This has never been this big of a freaking problem for me. <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't like Leon tonight. Oh my god. Alright, let's do things uh, smart. This is how I should be doing it. There we go. Strip it. I need this right away. How did I die against him again? Is it because I was being an idiot? Yes, I was. That mission gave me way more trouble than I thought. <clears throat> yeah, the next mission is uh, you're running across the park. Volko Park. Ah, damn it. Did that glitch again where I was hammering on the shoot button and nothing came out. Love it when that happens. Got it. Oh, come on. I was rolling again. Hammering on the circle button, nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, he's more preoccupied with the car than Leon. That's so true. <laughs> oh, he has a flak jacket. Oh, that's too bad. That guy just let me kill him. Oh my god, I didn't know he was still there! Wonderful start to the mission. There we go. Kill them both, for fuck's sakes. Alright. This gun is great. I should just use this thing. Oh, Christ. And that always can be a... Bitch. Oh, come on, I hit him. Wow, 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 dude. Fucking, how much health do you have? Jesus. This is fun. I like using, it finally gives you an excuse to use this freaking gun. And you get to use a really cool glitch. <laughs> His flak jacket is the strongest in the series. Yeah, dude, he's got one of those like quadruple ply flak jackets. Crazy. He's got he's got Mujari's flak jacket from the Lorelei Salvage rig. 
10,000 points. Everybody else has 375 points. Oh shit, come on, bro. Alright, don't worry about that guy, it doesn't matter. But this is a cool glitch. Alright, I have to keep... I always love this one. Okay. This is a sick glitch. Alright, so get up to the closest part of where the brightness... Okay, where the brightness is at its brightest. Zoom out with the sniper rifle. And permanent night vision. Good shit. I don't have to worry about getting headshot because Yuri can't see shit. Or fake Yuri, I guess. Oh wait, that's right. Okay, do it again here. This is so sick. This is, because this part coming up here is a total bitch. This part sucks. All these guys can hit you in the head in the shot. Yeah, man, give this a, try, uh, a shot because this is uh, the worst part in the mission. Everybody's got permanent headshot lock, I think. As far as I know. And they can't see shit. <laughs> awesome. Hey, buddy. You're looking right at me. I have no idea. That's awesome. And this part is also sick. Because... Of this shit right here. <laughs> They're all blind as fuck. <laughs> what up, dude? <laughs> I spared that guy. Might as well. Makes that mission so fucking easy, dude. Like, that is... As soon as you enter night vision spots, that mission goes by so fucking easy after that. <laughs> Stop hiding and face me! Okay. I cornered this might be the hardest boss in the game. Oh, come on. How'd that miss? Damn you. Yeah. Leon, are you there? Yeah, he's been running like a bitch for three fucking missions, and then he's like, hey, stop hiding. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> I've been trying to tell you the same thing for three missions, you piece of shit. <laughs> you hypocrite. I'm tasing the shit out of you for that one. I think you unlock something in this mission if you uh, do this all with taser, so I'm going to do that. Oh yeah, he's drunk. That's for damn sure. He's drunk on love for this stun gun. This love gun. Yeah, that's right. You gotta unlock a map or something, I think. You're right. Totally worth it, and it's not really necessary to use the crossbow on this either, because it's normal mode. Pavel. Pavel? This is some bullshit right here. 
stay here. Oops. Everything's going to be suck it, big bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, that is some bullshit. Because how the hell are you supposed to know that she's gonna just wonder what the hell he's falling on the ground for when literally every single enemy in the game before this mission, if they're spotted on the ground, you fail the you fail the freaking mission. So you're trained. The game trains you to be like, okay, I can't have any bodies seen. And then it's like, hey, to do this next part, you need to have a body scene. The fuck, man? It doesn't say anything about that. Oh, man. Yeah, exactly. If you don't take her out right away, <laughs> she's like, Pavel, get up. And it, she's like, wait a minute. He's not drunk. Somebody tased him, someone right behind me. And then he fuck, she fucking loses her shit, and then you fail the objective. For no reason. You'd think she'd spend some time trying to wake him up, but she's, uh... She's too smart and stupid for that. <laughs> Neither of them saw me. So realistic. Oh, come the fuck on. No way. Ah, uh, Bullshit. Oh, God. Stupid. Damn. How did that happen? Um... Hmm, what is this? Mission 15, right? And there's 21. Counting chance. He counts as a mission, even though he's just a quick boss fight. Um. But the, the bio lab is in what? Two missions? Yeah. Well, that was in two missions. Oh, the next mission is a freaking pain in the ass. <clears throat> so a dude fell off the railing and he broke the whole railing? The fuck, man? Must have been a fat ass dude. Yeah, this is crazy. <laughs> Russian Kevin James. <laughs> okay, don't fail this part. I'm not doing that shit again. That was bullshit that I failed that. Here we go. I'm gonna tase this bitch too. Fuck you. So, bitch? Yeah, take that. That way you guys are waking up at the same time and she's just gonna start beating the shit out of you again. <laughs> Doug Hefernovich, yeah. <laughs> Sup, dudes? Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> oh, and this is the best part. <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Gabe, this used to be. Yeah, they do. <laughs> At least the MGS1 guys have cone vision. <laughs> they might not be able to see 50 feet in front of them, but they have cone vision. These guys literally have a straight line. <laughs> they basically have like Metal Gear 1 vision. Not Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear 1. And you can literally stand beside guards in that in that game while they're looking at you. But if you're on the if you're not on the same line on the screen <laughs> as them, <laughs> then they can't see you. <laughs> awesome. Katya, hey Katya, oh. Turn around, bitch. <sighs> they give you way too much time to do this part. I think you got like got it. two seconds to spare on hard mode. You got over 30 seconds here. That's crazy. Okay, now a kind of shitty mission, followed by a fucking awesome mission, followed by another fucking awesome mission. Yeah, they cut your time by fuck time. Hard mode is just, in general, it's, it's hard mode. It's hard. It's great. Whereas in the, in the first game and the third game, hard, ga hard mode is fuck all. Leon's using some hacks on that shit. That's mean. Holy Christ. Oh, right in the dick. Oh, that sucks, dude. Damn. That was a good shot. <laughs> they should, like, have prompts on the screen for that. Like, headshot. Aim lower. Thick shot. Fuck yeah. I'm an adult. <laughs> 12 gauge to the sack, yeah. <laughs> Sniper 12 gauge to the sack. How'd he die? Oh, he got shot in the sack with a shotgun from 60 feet away. Oh, dude, that's that's some fucking rough shit. Damn. Worst way to die probably ever. Hey, he's Yeah, shotgun blew his balls off. It was pretty rough. Whoa! Ah! Oh god! Oh god! Jesus! What was my aim so bad there? Oh no, I forgot! This mission has no checkpoints! Fuck! Oh, that is rough. I mean, it has checkpoints, but you don't get a single checkpoint till you save Yuri. Oh, that is a bitch. Alright, fine. No big deal. <laughs> yeah, he really wanted to avenge his buddy. Oh, man. You remember the last time I streamed this? Damn, you were there for that? That was like nine months ago. Holy shit. Oh, okay, she's not hitting anything right now. 
I literally have not played this game since the last time I streamed this, and I just remembered that I had the same problem the last time I streamed this. This mission fucking hates me. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the dick again. Damn it! Why was I being so cocky? Oh yeah, I restarted this so many times. Yeah, because this is probably my shittiest mission. I suck ass at this mission. Because <laughs> I get cocky and I just realize, oh yeah, this is fun to fuck with these guys. And then I realize, oh wait, uh, there's no checkpoints. I should not be doing this shit. And everybody's good at aiming. And this is frustrating. As hell. Jesus Christ. I think last time I did stream this on hard mode, you're right. Hard mode is, on this mission, hard mode is just awful. I do not, I don't even have fun. I shot him in the dick again, that's rough, dude. Fuck. I don't have fun with this mission on hard mode, it's, it's just too much. Oh, Christ. Not doing that again. There we go. Wow, that w took a lot of fucking... <laughs> that guy's destined to get his sack torn off. <laughs> He's destined to not re... Uh, whatever the fuck you call it. Uh, uh, fucking uh, reproduce. English. Oh, shit! Christ! That usually takes only one shot. What? Through the wall? Oh, man! Fuck! Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. This is crazy. Ugh. Fuck this mission, man. I hate this mission. This is easily my worst. <laughs> Curved his bullet around the corner? Yeah, dude, that guy was some, did some fucking ocelot shit. Oh, okay. Now I shot him in the head this time. Maybe it, it's a sign. This is going to be a different outcome. Every time I shoot him in the dick, it's like I lose because he's upset that I shot him in the dick. Like, get him, guys. She shot me in the dick three times. Avenge my penis. And then I die. But this time I got him in the head, so. Okay. That's a good sign. So far, so good. What's the furthest I've gotten so far? <laughs> Uh, what is the furthest again? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, right after I tased that guy that was sitting in the corner. Whoa, shit. I hate when a target locks on the other dudes. Not cool, bro. Not cool. This time I'm going to kill you. Because your buddies don't show me no mercy. Okay. I'm going to actually find some cover here. I do not want to die on this part again. This is trash. Oh, shut up. There we go. Yes. I was right beside a checkpoint. That is such a bummer. Turn around! Jesus! Kill him for fuck's sakes! <laughs> Literally right in front of me. Cannot shoot him. 
Oh Christ. Oh, fudge. Oh, that was sick. Oh my god. Clear! Yuri! Move up! Hey dude. Oh, you know what would help right now is if I had the PK. This is some crazy shit. Snipers, pull back. Holy tits. <coughs> Man, I remember doing this years ago and just not being able to get past this part because I was trying to kill the guys up there. I'm like, hey, why, why can't I shoot them? This is bullshit. And then I uh, learned to pay attention to Yuri and because he has a friggin' smoke blows. grenade. Duh. I was like, fuck it. Problem. Not even in my teens at the time, so obviously I was an idiot. <laughs> oh god, this guy's a pain in the ass. Doesn't kill you, but holy crap, he annoys you. Just shoot yourself. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck did I just do? I remember that feeling too. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Alright. This part can be a bitch. A lot harder on hard mode. Is the area clear? Here. <coughs> Skip. All right. <coughs> Man, escort missions, dude. Fuck this shit. Yeah, that section on hard mode is a bitch. Do not like it. Also, this section coming up here at the end of the mission, too, is trash on hard mode. You have to play it stealthy. And being stealthy is tricky. Die, you bastard! Damn, I lost some health there. Shit. Behind us. Come on. What the fuck? Uh. Wait, no way. Oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? Shit, man. I just did this part like a fucking boss and got l some little bitch ass shotgun user got lucky. Oh, fuck this mission, man. I, this, this may be a contender for my least favorite in the game. I think it actually is because it's also an escort mission on top of all that, which I automatically hate.
Jesus. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Is the area clear? And yeah, in a hard mode at the end, you have no choice but to stealth it. That's like... I mean, it's cool. I like that they give you, like, another reason to do stealth. But the random getting spotted bullshit is, is super annoying. And you never really know what you did to get spotted. Damn, shotgun's a boss. This thing's awesome. Die, you bastard! Get out of the way, man. Jesus. I'm gonna shoot you, and I'm gonna lose again because I shot Behind you. Behind us! What? Did you shoot through a You cheating bastard! You shot through a wall, too! That is such bullshit. Why can't I shoot through freaking walls? Man. All right. We've got to make it. All right. Fuck it. Let's just do this. I ain't gonna stealth it. Let's just go. Hurry the fuck up, bitch. Why are you so damn slow? Is he gonna die? Okay, thank fuck. Oh, oh he's all bloody. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, Yuri Wallhack that dude. That's some cheap shit, man. That I don't I don't respect that dude. That's some cheap shit. You're a cheating bastard. Please don't die. I mean, you can die, but Yuri better not die. This is gonna suck. Oh, he's already there. That's kind of cool. You would have totally been dead if this is hard mode. Sweet. Game. <laughs> they got him in the sack too. <laughs> I'm gonna save that to my butt slot because. Fuck that mission. Ugh, God. <sighs> yeah, exactly, right? He spots you on the frickin' ramp. I hate that shit, too. It's annoying. Teresa, I'm clear. Okay, this is my absolute favorite mission. But my ass is killing me, so one sec. I gotta hit the friggin' gym after this. Alright. Oh, I remember this mission just being... Because looking at that just now, having it have no map. Just thinking how crazy hard this mission was. I could never get past it. the section secure while I find a body bag for Logan's corpse. Yes, sir. And that's why it's my favorite. Plus it reminds me of Hitman. Like Gabe's hiding in plain sight. That's the coolest part. Yeah, that's the coolest thing, man. Like this is a this is a game from 2000 on the PlayStation One, and these missions are so detailed, and there's so much going on in all of them. Got to give the, the the devs credit. And it was by a small studio. You know, 989 Studios is not a big studio. By any means. Oh, shit. Damn, I forgot about that. 
And they're still not a very big studio. Ben's studio is puny. Remember doing this? That guy fucking freaked me out. I was about to go through there. Oh, come on. No way. Ah. Teresa, I'm clear. I can't remember the last time I failed that. Been a good decade. I don't think on any of my playthroughs I failed that. You keep the section secure while I find a body bag. I have no idea. For some reason, that guy is the only guy in the game that has peripheral vision. <laughs> but I'm also wearing a friggin' disguise, so what the shit, man? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> best eyesight in the entire game, that one guy. <laughs> With other times, I can not wear a disguise and walk right in front of people and be fine. <laughs> Jesus. Experimented on with some tech. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they gave him they gave him a perfect twenty twenty vision with their super soldier serum. <laughs> with this cutting edge technology, we can provide you with the best eyesight known to Seven Filter Two. Really, you'll just be like every average person in the real world, but you'll be superhuman in terms of this game. <laughs> or he reads a lot of Gaby magazines. <laughs> now I can run. Checkpoint, bitch. Give me that shit. Okay, that guy didn't see me? The fuck? Your friend has way better vision than you, bro. Just saying. Give me this. Thank you. Suck a dick. What? What? The fuck? Cut his throat, bro! What am I doing? Dude. Cut his throat. What? <laughs> okay. I'll see you later then. <laughs> Please don't tell me this knife is trash. Oh my god. What? just happened is this gonna fuck me up because I really need this to kill people and he didn't see me again that's crazy I have no idea what the fuck this even is <laughs> can I use my knife okay hold on a second because it's not letting me use my knife so I gotta go weaponry knife equip there we go. What the fuck? Damn it. What? <laughs> it's a Fisher Price knife. <laughs> Dude, this is What the fuck even happened? He's like, "Someone is swinging a knife over there." And started shooting through the wall. What the hell, man? How did you know I was there? 
<laughs> You're the knight through a wall. <laughs> this game is perfection, dude. Cut him. Yes, it worked this time. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's pure fucking oh speed God. and pure perfect approach. Hmm, that sounds an awful lot like Gabe's arms swinging that knife. Oh, he didn't say the thing. Oh, I, cut it. I didn't finish the cutscene. That's right. My bad, my bad. For everybody who wanted Gabe to hear, to hear Gabe say, I do. Uh, he fucking, uh, he didn't because I'm a bitch. Ramirez, you made it off the mountain. Yeah, it's like these guys just it's like the agency just trains their ears though, not their not their sight. Like you don't need eyes if you have perfect ears. Trust us. <laughs> We're gonna give you dog hearing. Your eyesight will be trash, but you will be able to hear things that most humans cannot. Ooh, like what? Like you will be able to hear when a certain individual swings a knife in a very specific fashion through a wall. Hey, that's convenient. But you will not be able to see them if they <laughs> roll around with a big ass sniper rifle right in front of you. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Fucking <laughs> dude. Siphon filled their logic, bro. Jesus fuck. Gabe, that badge doesn't give you clearance for the morgue. <laughs> Just I'm still blown away by the <laughs> the guy spotting me swinging my knife. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was <laughs> I'm just testing it out to see if it was actually, if it actually worked. <laughs> got spotted from swinging a fucking knife. <laughs> it's getting funnier the more I think about it. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> it was so awesome. Like, I get it if it was right behind the fucking guy, but that was through like three like concrete fucking walls, man. <laughs> what the hell? Who are you? Don't touch the phone. Holy shot. fuck, dude. Break your arm. Oh, it was perfect. Oh man. Oh, dude, that was too good. I'm I got tears in my eyes right now. I'm gonna make Gabe dance. Sick, 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 sick. Take your booty. Oh my god! Gabe, you've gotta stop him. <laughs> Just knew it was Gabe, right? Yeah. Couldn't possibly be anybody else. Wait, that doesn't sound like anybody else's arm that I know personally. <laughs> Must be an intruder. <laughs> That's unreal. You'll never get out of here alive, Logan. Get yourself up now and spare us all the headache. <laughs> Shut up and do what I say. Could have been Jimmy from accounting, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, is that you? Gabe's like, no. I mean, yes. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Sound the alarm! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Teresa, I'm downloading the agency security files. What have you got? Fuck, man. This, this game is the best ever. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I forgot they got auto headshot. That's crazy.
Whoa, whoa, bro. Bro, whoa. Oh, fuck. I'm in trouble here. Oh, he's gonna keep running at me, isn't he? My gun's faster than yours, bitch. There we go. Teresa, is the whole place on alert now? No, I managed to localize the security system and shut it down around the archive. It's temporary, though. Leon's better at this hacker stuff than I am. Sooner or later, their backup system will see something's wrong. You better hurry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Love how he has the balls to talk to Gabe like that. <laughs> when Gabe is he's like, you'll never get out of here alive, man. It's like, dude, I literally got here by walking in front of your, your fucking dudes this whole time. They have not been able to see me. I mean, there was that one really fucked up time where they heard my knife randomly through a concrete wall. But besides that, they haven't been able to see shit. So, <laughs> pretty sure I'll get out of here alive. <laughs> Jesus. Intruder alert! Why are these scientists so buff is what I want to know. Like, what? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shots to kill a scientist. Those dudes work out, man. Shit, they've been hitting the gym. Crazy. Gabe! Thank God. They're... Oh, thank God. Uh, they locked me up in this cell because they knew you were going to come and get me. <laughs> so I fulfilled their logic. Alright, Chance, what, you were going to assign you to a special duty. Alright, cool, what kind of duty? Uh, you have to stay in a cell. You can see signs of the virus at work <laughs> on the internal organs by looking for discoloration and swelling. <laughs> yeah, take seven shots and puts himself in timeout. I mean, I would do the same thing if I was him, honestly. Oh no, I'm getting shot in the back. Teresa, there Time for the fetal now. position. <laughs> Wait, what am I supposed to do when I'm under fire? Uh, stop, drop, and roll! Oh, okay, that's right. <laughs> The virus started, of course. Shot drops a junior point. mint in the body. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Right in the side of the face. You date. Your favorite Dr. episode Wilson. of Gabe Feld. Good to see you again. <laughs> you don't need a gun. Where they learn how, what to do when under fire. <laughs> now remember, folks. <laughs> <laughs> when a fire starts to burn, there's a lesson you must learn. Something, something, then you'll see. <laughs> you'll avoid catastrophe. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Hengsu is dead. <laughs> she how is not going. Ugh. What a bitch. Oh shit, my bad. I moved forward a slight little bit and I forgot you're that's totally illegal. I'm not allowed to move in this mission. Get this door open now. Suck it. Super convenient for me that they decided to send the guys with the um with the one ply armor instead of the guys with the two ply armor, like what chances wear. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. Just keep spamming the window. <laughs> well, they said go after Gabe. And honestly, Gabe terrifies me. And there's uh, there's some bulletproof glass separating the two of us currently, so I'm just going to act mad and keep shooting at the bulletproof glass to no avail. But at least I'll look like I'm trying. <laughs> they can't fire me for doing that. Yeah, Mara got a total makeover. She she got her hair did. She uh, literally went from going to tell Vince Haddon what was going on. 
with the with the with the shit with the seven filter virus. Um, and then she went and immediately got her hair done. Literally the same day. Actually, it, it kind of does make sense. A lot of bodies here. Yeah. <laughs> she survives a head headshot from Gabe in the subway. She survives a headshot from Gabe in the other subway. <laughs> Seven build of three, and she survives. Um, no, she doesn't. She doesn't survive a headshot from Gary Stoneman in Seven Build of Five. So from that, we can determine that Stone is obviously a better shot than Gabe. That's what I think Gabe was. Gabe did. He's like, "Hey." I've tried twice to kill this bitch. Can't do it. Stone, can you help me, Preeth? Yeah, I gots it. <laughs> and then Stone went and whooped some ass. Whooped some Russian girl ass. Actually, Russian and German, because Elsa Weisinger. She's a, she's a German, so he whooped some Russian and some German ass. I'm, I'm upset with him now. I forgot Elsa's German. That makes me mad. Das macht mich so traurig. Sie ist doch Deutsche. Warum hat sie gestorben? Teresa, I've reached a dead end here. So who is totally Mara's lesbian lover the entire time? <laughs> yeah, that shit came out of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Ramirez, damn it, that shit was crazy. I remember first seeing that and being like, "Oh, actually, act, no, I didn't even see it." Okay, I learned about it from message boards, seven filter friggin' message boards. People were like, "Dude, anybody play the frickin' crazy ass bonus mission yet?" And most of us were like, nah, I haven't gotten that far. And then people were like, yeah, lesbians. <laughs> like, what? Lesbians? Nah. He's like, yeah, for real. <laughs> Mara and Elsa. No friggin' way. And sure enough, <laughs> Sony Ben pulled that shit right out of their ass for some reason. I mean, cool. <laughs> That's fine, but Jesus. Yeah, man, that shit is fucked up. <laughs> just because it's... Not that they're lesbians, just that they're fucking out of fucking nowhere, man. Like, that came out of left field from left field. Teresa? <laughs> Just noticed the wall says moist. I I know like three of my exes that would hate that shit right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, my ass is literally on fire right now. <laughs> Just from sitting too long, you know how it gets. You know how it is. You know how shit be. But I got two missions left to go. And then I gotta friggin' hit the gym. Man, this would be a long ass stream doing all all six of the games in a row. Holy fuck. I'm probably gonna do that, but goddamn, that's gonna be long. Just thinking right now, five hours in. Seven filler two. Crazy.
Yeah, dude, the guitar on this freaking... You know what's a sick tune, too? Like, a really fucking badass... Like, uh, the ending... Th <clears throat> the ending theme to this whole game is super badass. So fucking sick. Metal as fuck. Where are you, bitch? Give me your head. Yeah, man, this franchise is known for that, for sure. The music is the tits. Oh, shit. Gabe, I'm picking up SWAT radio. Actually, give me this. I need this. Perfect. Hang in there, Ross. I'm on my way. Oh, man. <clears throat> some reason he died I'll never know exactly what they were thinking with that but all right cool damn these guys could take some fucking punishment man Jesus in the first game this gun can kill in one clip less than one clip with somebody who's wearing a freaking flak jacket it almost takes a full clip to kill somebody without a flak jacket in this game that's crazy over 20 shots of this gun Insane. In the membrane. Fuck that guy. Careful, Gabe. This old flea trap. <laughs> yeah, the SWAT that gets blown so far away. That's crazy. I wish grenades blew them that far away. That'd be hilarious. Teresa, I can't get to the sniper. Oh, dirty laundry. That's right. That gives you some shit. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Found it. That SWAT team holding. All right, this part sucks sometimes. Nice. Nice! I need that gun for later, actually. Come on, bitch. What are you doing? What up, girl? Come here. <laughs> You smarty pants. <laughs> Train special agents. <laughs> Damn, they really do take a lot of punishment from this gun specifically. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Sniper's a fucking moron. Freeze! Sarge, I've got the terrorists, then back up! Oh, shit. Oh, that would've been sick if he killed his buddy. Oh, Christ. Damn it! That sucks. <laughs> Let me just roll through this fire instead of not rolling through it. <laughs> Freeze! Yeah. Oh, I've got the terrorists. Then back up. Hmm. What would be more beneficial, rolling through the fire or not rolling through the fire? I don't care! 
Quick decision! Actually, you know what? Fuck those guys. They don't even... I don't even need to worry about them. Oh, come on. Damn, that was close. Oh, you cheating bitch. Crouching and shit. Damn right. Slut. <laughs> He's almost afraid his own guy. Yeah, all these guys have a shit ton of health. I have no idea why. Why? Like, God damn. Almost 20 shots just to kill one dude. Holy fuck, man. God damn, that's crazy. So much health. It makes uh, short work of your ammo, too. Place your hands behind your head and lie down. Fucking dick. Oh, that was sick. Okay. Oh, shit. Jesus. Man, everybody's cheating tonight. This part is tricky, sort of. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Give me a sit rep. My partner's been down in that building. Two snipers have the corner. <sighs> and I can't get to him. Right. You advance. Hey, Louis, ten ten. Thanks for the follow, brother. Appreciate it. Or Louise, ten ten. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But thanks a lot for the follow. Where we at? Okay, I'm clear. Move now. Up now. I'll cover you. Uh, you you ain't covering shit. All right, fine. Do it. Do it, girl. She's a a mean mean person. I bet you she uh, uh uh she and her kids are not probably very close. Not very nice. I got two more snipers still. Shit. Forgot. Wow, you were just standing there. Why were you just standing there? Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Gets life saved. Alright, you're uh, under arrest for being a good Samaritan. Teresa, I finished off the last night. Sick. Teresa, we're the... Drop your gun, Logan. All right. And he actually drops his gun, and she just tried to arrest him, and then tried to kill him. The fuck? So go ahead and kill that bitch. She was trying to kill me, man. Go for it. I ain't dropping my gun for you, bitch. You're a mean, mean asshole. You're like the Teresa. mean villain of this game. Following orders as usual, I see. And then she dies anyway, exactly. The fuck, man? Das macht keinen Sinn. Makes no sense. <clears throat> oh, these guys have slightly less health. I enjoy that. The 45 actually does some damage. Three to four shots and maybe day. 
I'm happy with that. Try to keep up, old man. Nah, girl, go do your thing. I'll go do my thing. You leave me alone, I leave you alone. We got a perfect, uh, perfect thing going on, the two of us. <clears throat> This is so sick. This gun's awesome. Oh shit. Where's this bitch at? Isn't this guy just running the room? This guy just ran over here, didn't he? Yes, he did. Come here, you. <laughs> Love how he looked at me for a couple seconds before pulling his gun up. Huh? Uh, hey, Gabe. <laughs> Don't move, I have a gun. <laughs> Fuck. I'll piss off, you guys. It's hard to aim with this thing. <laughs> Bitch, suck it. Oh, man. Oh, sick. More ammo. I'm all good with that. This gun could use it. <laughs> Just trying to figure out what the sound was. That doesn't sound like a knife being swung by Gabe. <laughs> that sounds like footsteps by Gabe. I best turn around to investigate. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, probably. You know, the shades are probably making them blind. Yeah. <laughs> But then what does it say about the spooks in the beginning of the game? Those guys are blind as fuck for no reason. Is it because they're wearing those stupid headgear? Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness. Another one. Man, you guys are mean. Crazy. Oh, my God. Fuck that. Oh, man, I hate just having health. Fuck this gun. Ah! There he is. Get him. Get him in the face. Uh, where's his head? There it is. Hey, <laughs> this guy's head. Alright, All right. one more head. Let me find this guy's head. Oh shit! Perfect. Now I'm in trouble. <laughs> Cause I... Oh no wait, there's a flak jacket right here. We are golden as tits. Fudge yeah. I love how Teresa takes all the credit for doing what I'm about to do all by myself. <laughs> Oh, she didn't say, what would you do without me? You do without me? Oh, she did. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> what would I do without you? Uh... Yeah, right? How did she fire that many? <laughs> fuck. Doesn't she say something stupid later? Like, agency training is really paying off, hey? Uh, oh yeah, agency training is really paying off now, Gabe. And then she literally hits no one with her gun. <laughs> and she's using a shotgun. So it's just got a good spread. And she still hits nobody. <laughs> but agency training is really paying off. Can you just die, please? There you go. I appreciate that. As soon as I asked, he obliged. Oh, you ducking son of a bitch? <laughs> Sick. Yeah, <laughs> fully auto shotgun. Gotta get spread. Hits no one. 
<laughs> Come here, Gabe. I got a plan. I don't give a shit what your plan is, girl. There's too many of them holed up in that land. Oh, these guys all have M79, which is the, the bee's tits. This part's sick. I like this. Okay, so what should I do? Should I go up and try to get the M79 box? Or should I say F it and just finish the mission as is? so hard to aim with this thing. Fuck that. Get the box? Alright, I will get the box. I suck at it, but I will get the box. I will oblige. Because I do have to get it to unlock shit anyways. This is the PSN version, so and I have nothing unlocked so far. God damn, dude. Wow! How many freaking 45 shots do you guys take? God damn, dude! Oh my god, piss off! Wow! That's crazy! How many shots do you guys take? Oh man, here we go. Yeah, these guys are nuts. These are probably the, the... Well, I mean, it is the second to last mission. I guess that makes sense. But still, holy tits. Oh, Christ. Whoa. Oh, no! Damn it! Fucking... Forgot he runs towards you. Ah... Damn it, fuck, man. Ass. Alright, I'm gonna just HK5 this whole time, because this thing's got good ass accuracy and it's easy as hell to aim with this thing. And why the hell do they keep rolling? I guess they are agency trained, right? That makes sense. But they, I fought the same dudes in, in uh, Expo Center, and these guys were not those guys were not nearly as tough. Yeah, it fucking jihadded me. <laughs> what the hell, bro? You're literally taking shots in the chest and just chilling. Oh, fuck this guy. Man, that's some that's some cool tactics though, I gotta say. These guys are like mini bosses themselves, it's so good. Like, specifically these ones in the fucking stairwell. These are all firefights. <laughs> it's not just Gabe running up and shooting them. It's like, straight up firefights. Okay. I ain't gonna fuck it up this time. Oh my god, he was I thought he was further away than that. <sighs> but you have to use M79 there because they all have M79s, and if you don't, they're just gonna shoot you with it. Whoa. 
didn't roll that time. That's good. Sick. That was surprisingly easy <laughs> compared to the other ones. Okay. Let's try it one more time to get that box. If I don't do it this time, then I'll just uh, finish the mission as normal. But I'll try one more time. It would be nice. Whoa. That was crazy lucky. Oh, come on, dude. I think this guy's a flak jacket, too. It's bullshit. Oh, shit. Get out of here. Oh, man. Where is he? It was worth it. Wasted a shot, but it was worth it. Got it. Okay. Now the rest is easy because I got M79. It was all good. Holy fuck. They do not make that easy. Mission last boss fight. Holy fuck. Dead. Oh. Yeah, I'll save it. To my butt slot. Bitch ass Stevens is a bitch ass. I agree. All right. Alrighty then. Here we go. This mission gonna be sick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nostalgia bomb right now. Get out of here. G fucking G, bitch. I will see you in heck. Now we get to watch some sick ass cutscene and uh, listen to some sick ass music. And I'll let you guys do that while I uh, get up and deal with some shit real quick. The activities of a little known government agency, which allegedly had terrorist dealings that far surpassed those of the Iran Contra. Yes, I fully agree. One of the best boss fights ever. We go live now to Secretary of State Vince Haddon. The President has ordered a full investigation of this so-called black box agency and has vowed to fully cooperate with congressional authorities. Rest assured that we will get to the bottom of this. I can answer no more questions at this time. And now a story from northern China, where tensions rose as Russian troops rolled into the province of Heilongjiang. I can't believe she's gone. She'd be alive today if we hadn't dragged her into Teresa the died the way she lived, doing what she believed in. In any case, you could hardly have stopped her. No one could. She gave her life for mine. How can I live with that? The same way I will. By surviving. By not giving up. By fighting for what you believe in. It's not over yet.
Shit makes me want to play along, man. Some sick fucking tunes, dude. Sir, we have them. You want us to move in? No, I want your men out of here now. Yes, sir. We will finish this operation another day. <laughs> yeah, man. You got a headbang that shit. We become president. We could have ended it here. Perhaps. But I am not finished with him yet. I have something else in mind for Gabriel Logan. Ooh, something else in mind. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna like, are you gonna, like kidnap, kidnap his his kid that he doesn't even know he's, he has? Are you gonna go after his his ex girlfriend that he still secretly loves? Are you gonna like hire some Chinese agent to kill him? No, I'm going to sue him. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh man. <laughs> so anticlimactic when it when you find out what actually happens. <laughs> no, I don't want to do any of that. I'm gonna do something much worse. I'm going to see him in court. <laughs> Fuck man. <laughs> Yep, good times. <laughs> and then somehow Gay manages to go and assassinate people during the court proceedings anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god. In friggin' Ireland. <laughs> Crazy. Well, <clears throat> I think uh, next time I'm probably gonna do uh, like Seven Builder 3 and then the Omega Strain right after. And um, that'll be kind of fun because it's because I did one and two this time. I can do three and four next time, and then maybe I'll do Dark Mirror and Logan's Shadow on another stream after that. Yeah, and then Vincent gets wrecked by Mara. That ending's kind of funny how they had to change that pretty much that entire thing because of uh, um, uh, nine eleven. But um, yeah. Fucking, that was awesome. Thanks a fuck ton for hanging out. You guys are the tits. Naroon, thanks again so much for the subscription, man. I really appreciate it. That was fucking awesome of you, bro. And, uh, um, oh yeah, Louise1010, thanks again for the follow. Really appreciate that as well. Everything is, uh, everything's all good. Shit's a fucking blast. I can't wait to do the next one. Um, I'll probably come back with three and four, I don't know, ASAP as possible. If not tomorrow night, then probably in two nights from now or three nights from now. I'm not sure. It'll be either tomorrow or three nights from now. So what is that? Uh, what's tomorrow? Monday. So either, t either Monday night or Wednesday night. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, I'm going to go hit the gym. You guys have fun with the rest of the night. And uh, thanks again for hanging out and keep being awesome. Keep rocking out and keep gaming. And I'll see you on the next stream. See you, bros.